Pallad, may I mention? As you lost the pleases. We'll start from this. Pallad, may I mention one matter? This is 645 in your lordship's list. Hmm. Pallad, this was a matter as a public interest litigation where notice has been brought to this honourable court for illegal plying of the vehicle in the central business district in violation of the policy decision taken by the government of West Bengal on 2nd August 2004. Hmm. Pallad, the... Uh, Matter was admitted and direction was given for filing affidavit in order to justify the stand of the government. Mm. What the government is, is to be taken. Twice the extension has been made. Matter was scheduled to be taken up today by the earlier honorable bench. Mm. But now it has gone to 645. Oh. <laughs> well, the problem is this, uh. that the, the congestion will continue, the pollution will continue and when we have, I have complained. You give the mentioning slip. We will try to do something. <clears throat> and whoever wants inclusion, upgradation, you please give the slip. The file will be called for. We will examine the urgency and accordingly. Lordship, 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 this matter, Lordship. Definitely, we, 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 will not, we will read through. We will read through each slip and we will make an endorsement. Mm -hmm. Maybe Lord, uh, Lordship. Lord, please, uh, my Lord, I am uh, under compelling circumstances. My Lord, I have taken up a bracketing application, my Lord. Pardon? Bracketing application of the order dated 25th January. You filed a separate uh, can application. So, separate miscellaneous application, my Lord. Application. And my Lord, this is the order passed by Honorable Chief Justice, earlier Honorable Chief Justice, uh, Thotathil B. Radha Krishnan and the Honorable Justice Origin Banerjee, my Lord. No, no, vacating we can hear. Unless you want a review of the order or recall of the order. Packeting and recalling both. Recalling you want. Yes. Recalling it has to be, you give the letter. Yes. No, you give the letter to the... Milord, I have ma I have already mentioned the matter, Milord, and there is a mentioning... No, the... if it is a vacating order, it can be heard by this bench. Yes. If it is a recalling application, it has to go before the bench. If one of the honorable judges is available, we have to constitute a bench for that. Lord, this is an application for vacating and or recalling. So, recalling will be difficult, sir. Vacating is on merits. Recalling the order may be for a reason of non-appearance, etc. You decide what application you want to file. You file a recall, we will immediately, I will assign it to a bench. No problem. Yes, it is a recalling application, my lord. Then, then you have to give up the prayer for, you can't have both the prayers. No? Then, uh, my lord, I am to apply to the registry of your lordship? Ah, yes. Very good. Huh? You do that, we will place the file today itself. May please, your Lordship, may I permit to mention with highly respect. Day before yesterday, Friday, I have filed a public interest litigation. Matter is relating to Navan Novijan. Navan Novijan, why I have filed on the earlier occasion, 17th April 2023, Lordship is clearly passed an order, needs to pass an order. Such and such, so and so, is never done because the matter is pending before the apex court. Yes. Apex court. No, we have already passed an order in this Ramanavmi. No, Lord, so I am coming to that. Oh. Entire Calcutta should be lapsed because no one no vision or any other vision. General people will suffer. Tremendous situation is happening. Lord, if kindly causing for a moment. Kindly let it be heard on Wednesday. No, no, you have filed it, it will come. It's a fresh matter, you need not mention. Lord, may, may I be permitted to mention? I will keep this slip. Admit. Not required. Lord, may I be permitted to mention? May I be permitted to mention item number 730 of your Lordship's today's list? You give an application. Now, this matter was taken up. This is an adjoint pill matter. It was taken up on last uh, last week. And your Lordship specifically directed to that it, it will be taken up today and the matter will retain its position. So it has gone down to 7.30. That it is relating to read nature of quarantine. Uh, tomorrow. 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 Similar, similar, tomorrow. similar prayer, my lord. These two matters. So, no, no, you please give, sir, sir. You please Lordship. give a yes, mention, mentioning slip. Mentioning this. Uh, my similar, my lord. <laughs> these two matters last uh, Tuesday, at number 22 and 24. It went but that to? has gone down. Uh -huh. I have 66. You give, give. Well, I might have your lordship indulgence to mention. Ah. Well, but this two matter will be listed tomorrow. Well. Public interrogation. Ah. But this was listed 22 items. Yes, 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 yes. Might have your lordship indulgence to mention new matter public interrogation, police firing at Kaliaganj. 
and one person died. If your lottery kindly take up as your lottery, as early as no, possible, your lottery. Fresh, mat fresh matter, it will come up. You give the slip, fresh matter, we come. May I permit to mention about one correction of the order sin malad? What is the correction? Correction malad, instead of malad, the Mundiraja police station, it's studio malad. Please give. Malad, the malad, you also directed the Mundiraja PS to keep the CCTV footage. Malad, instead of Mundiraja malad, it's studio malad, Mothurapur police station. Mothu? Mothurapur. Please give. We will show it supplementary list today. Malad, Kaili. We have heard you, sir. You please give the yes, slip. slip. But uh, Kyle, take up two more of your lot here. Under the heading to be mentioned in supplementary list. Sure. Sure. As it has been mentioned by the learned advocate or the uh, appellant that there is a typographical error in paragraph 7 of the order dated April 20, 2023. In the said paragraph, it has been wrongly mentioned the said paragraph direction was passed upon the inspector in charge of Mothurapur police station, but inadvertently it has gone down in the order as inspector in charge of Mundir Bajar police station. So, uh, let such error be rectified. Let this order form part of the order dated. 20th of April 2020. Lordship, one peculiarity I want to mention, Lordship, in regard to my case, Lordship, I've handed over. Go the, through it. If you uh, have mentioned have, uh, you precisely. Uh, Lordship, only one thing, Lordship, there are two matters which have been referred by the Lanet single bench. Now, I have given the uh, letter to the administrative side of this court and I came to learn that okay. this has been tagged with one matter of PIL. Although there are urgency which is reflected in my mentioning slip. Yeah. Now the question is, Lordship, I am required to make the uh, second judge's copy, learned second judge's copy for the uh, thing, Lordship. That is one permission I am seeking. Another no, thing, you keep the extra copy ready. When the matter is listed, you hand yes. it over. And urgency I have indicated there so because the monies are being extracted every day. Lordship. No, item Wait. number 689. Uh, this is a new phase matter of the public interest litigation. It is not like appearing as a 689. Uh, it will come. It will come. Your lordship item number 652. So what file a proper slip. slip this is, is not the slip. Uh, I shall, I shall file your Lordship, item number 6 for 52 of the monthly list, Your Lordship, the matter is regarding allotment of government land, public lands without any auction or advertisement. In During the pendency of the public interest litigation, they are leasing out the lands and hence the matter has well, gone. Why, why an aggrieved person is not here? Who is the writ petitioner? Your Lordship, I am the appellant. Okay. I am the writ petitioner, Your Lordship. Writ petitioner, you are also an applicant? Lordship, I am the public interest litigation, the advocate on record, your Lordship. Huh? Yes. Really? May, may I permit it to mention one matter? Item number 543 of uh, combined monthly list of May. Yes, uh, please give the slip. Please call the list. Appellate side, daily list, serial number one. What is this? A private tutors welfare association. But I put the petition in this one. Mm. Uh, here, my lord, the, <coughs> there is a bar for tuition practice in terms of the rule. But throughout the Bengal, the ignoring that rules, although my lord, the several communications was there to take action, uh, stopping of the private tuitions, but no effective steps have been taken till date. And my lord, they rampant. Which throughout, is that? Where is, please show us the rule which says. It's... Yeah, a rule, my lord. The your lord says, my lord. I, I assist you. Go to the other. My lord, let it be. Can you have a look at rule four, sub rule six of the rules which I flagged? Lord, I'm sorry, my lord. I have one, only one. I'm the you my copy. Lord, rule four, sub rule six. Code of conduct and discipline, teacher of non-teaching staffs of the institutions. Yes. Lord, she will ignore as a tick mark by me for my convenience, lord. Uh, rule four six. Provided that a teacher shall cooperate in the matter of remedial coaching, which may be organized by the institution. Yes. Lord, please have a look clear. at rule five. That has the rule. Yes. Now, my lord, what they are doing? Hmm. If your lord says kindly text table page twenty one.
this is a letter yes this is a reply this is a received from the of the schools address to the west bengal president west bengal board of secondary education well actually the authority for initiation of the disciplinary proceeding is the west bengal board of secondary education till date my lad nothing has been done no no this particular institution has violated the rule according no, particular to particular the three names have been mentioned mala so many i have given the other details we saw that list yes well yeah. Lord, I, I tell you, lordship, Lord, uh, the state is ad item. I've shown you, lordship, the rules. In rule five, your lordship will find that, Lord, the onus is on the board to take action by way of disciplinary action against these erring teachers. It is, Lord, in consonance with that, the letter, the document at page twenty-one. Mm. Lord, kindly, Lord, direct the board, Lord, to take appropriate action in terms of rule five of the rules, Lord. But remedial coaching is permissible. Yes, that the no, school that, will direct. Uh, that the school that will. That is in school premises. Remedial coaching is that he. They are private tuition. Lord, as, uh, as employed as well as in the evening, they take private. Well, uh, Lord, as as young uh, parents, we have all seen this, Lord, and we've succumbed to this also. But uh, if suppose no. talent is available. of course the rule is there yes if talent is available why can't a parent uh, want his ward no, to the get uh, this is this well now in days well it is going on unless i go to the private tutor i will not never be succeeded in by the question leakage possibility by, of by this public leakage. interest litigation the petitioner seeks for a direction upon the authorities <laughs> more particularly the uh, which responded Okay. That's it. No. More particularly, the third respondent, third and fourth respondents, to take action against the erring teachers who are conducting private tuitions. In this regard, the learned advocate for the upper land, I mean, the petitioner, has drawn our attention to the West Bengal. board of secondary education within bracket appointment confirmation comma conduct and discipline of teachers and non teaching staff bracket close rules 2018 it is submitted that in terms of rule 4 within bracket 6 of the said rules no teacher shall engage himself in any sort of private tuition for personal grade under the said rule there is a proviso which states that a teacher shall cooperate in the matter of remedial coaching which may be organized by the institution the proviso would up, would come into play in respect of such remedial coaching done by the institution full stop the grievance of the petitioner petitioner association is that the teachers who are employed in the schools and are receive, who are receiving salary from the government grant are parallelly conducting private tuitions and at times it becomes a pressure on the students and the parents that unless and until their wards take private tuitions it may affect the marks which they secure in the regular examinations conducted by the school in this regard several representations have been fi filed wherein the petitioner association has also listed out the names of the teachers and the schools who are violating the said rule we have heard the learned senior advocate appearing for the respondents state considering the concern expressed and taking note of the above mentioned rule come on we direct the third and fourth respondent to consider the representation take note of the facts mentioned therein verify the details which have been furnished by the petitioner association and if any of the teachers are found to have violated the rule appropriate action should be taken in accordance with the rule 
after follow after affording you know the reasonable opportunity to the teacher concern this direction be carried out within a period of 3 months from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order madam may i interrupt your lord sir one like can it be kept pending so the development my development you can see it will never come up <laughs> next get serial number 2 get bolte diyo na serial number 2 milo i beg copy for the respond in number 14 to 18 gram panchayat and its member very good sir milo i observe upon all the respondents illegal malafide action of the respondent authorities to stop Lord, siphoning this, of public money lord sir lord sir this application has been filed my lord on compelling circumstances my lord this is the second round of application by the petitioner my lord earlier occasion my lord the petitioner my lord due to inaction by the respondent authority concerned my lord filed one application my lord hmm. and this honorable court my lord by an order dated 31st of october 2020 22 my lord hmm. directed the respondent number 4 my lord hmm. to my lord consider the complaint made by the petitioner my lord but the concerned respondent milord in sheer negligence milord milord he did not consider the uh, complaint representation you milord you file a contempt lord sir you file a contempt lord sir he passed the order milord passed the order passed the order milord where there is a uh, siphoning of crores of money milord cut short the matter to milord only 4 lakhs milord and directed the concerned pardan milord to deposit that 4 lakhs and no further milord action taken milord against the pardan milord It Lord says Sip, this matter relates to Jagdish put two gram panchayat or Lord Sir. Page one sixty eight. It Lord, says eleven uh, lakhs. Page eleven thousand four sixty. Page one six. Page one sixty eight. My Lord. Ah. Is the My Lord letter My Lord issued by the block development officer of Raiganj block My Lord under the district Uttar Dinajpur to the petitioner My Lord, directing the petitioner My Lord to deposit My Lord eleven thousand four hundred sixty rupees My Lord. For uh, what? For what reason that has not been informed, not intimated to the petitioner, my lord? Uh, and moreover, my lord, the next page, my lord, which was annexed with that letter, my lord, the next page is the page one sixty nine, my lord. That is the order of the, my lord, the district program coordinator. That is the respondent number four, my lord, the district magistrate of Uttar Dinajpur, my lord. In that order, my lord, the that order was sent to the, my lord, the block development officer, my lord. Kindly have a look, my lord. No. On inquiry, my lord. Askar, Askar, Askar Ali, Ali is, is the, the complainant. Is the petitioner, my lord. Why he has to pay eleven thousand four sixty? That is beyond the knowledge of the petitioner. <laughs> And uh, the pradhan has been directed to deposit uh, deposit four lakh seventeen thousand seven forty one seven hundred and forty one, my lord. Because, my lord, on inquiry, my lord, the respondent number four, my lord, find out that, my lord, without, my lord, any work, my lord, in the name of fund excavation, my lord, the Pardan, my lord. Siphon, my lord. Four lakh something, my lord. All right. Now, as such, the pardan directed to my lord deposit that amount, my lord. Whether he has complied But, with that order, my lord. Whether the pardan has complied with that order, that is your opinion. I have a sufficient reason to doubt on the maintainability of this instant appeal. Ah, hmm. uh, my lord. The, almost all the allegations made in this writ petition is almost similar to the earlier writ petition. Correct. Right. Only addition is. Inquiry report held in pursuance of the order of this honourable court. Now, in pursuance of that order, inquiry held. Mm. In the inquiry, it is found petitioner himself is one of the participants. Criminals. His he has personal interest involved with the order. So this is not appeal. This is a personal interest litigation. Right. Number one. Number keep, two. No, no. We will keep him aside. Number But two, what Milo, action you have taken? There is a statutory right to appeal. If my learned friend, Wait, no, no, client is agree with the order, please, he please, would have filed within five days. Please hear us. So far as the claim made from the petitioner, he may file an appeal. There is a division bench order, page one sixty four at one sixty five. It says dispose of the present petition, directing the fourth respondent. Yes. Who was the fourth respondent there? Same and similar. The district magistrate, my lord. District magistrate. District, huh? district program coordinator. All right. Was there? Right. Duly look into the petitioner's grievance, reflect on the representation, conduct an inquiry if required, and take appropriate action after giving opportunity. Opportunity. Then who you are appearing for the private? I mean for the, 
the gram panchayat and in members all right to 18 now the direction is to the dm the this district magistrate will take help? action if he is aggrieved by the demand raised on him he will go separately according to you you may be right subject to what your friend says that he has got a personal interest and he is also guilty of having siphoned off some money hmm? 11000 and all so let him challenge that order separately but let we will me, ask let, the, yes may I assist your option but let him challenge the order but one thing is but uh, if you have not challenged no no your pra pradhan if he has committed one illegality he has to be removed your client and his hand must to be cleaning Blood. whose hand Blood. itself is polluted Blood. can Blood. not yes yes remedy under the court no no we will we, we will direct action against Blood. 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 Hmm. which is not pond excavation which is a subject matter of the pil numer serial number 1 relates to pond excavation hmm. now look the representation on the basis of which the earlier order was passed your lordship will find that note at page 102 104 yes now look please come to page 106 look these are the list of ponds relating to which not the uh, the uh, complaint was made mm. at paragraph 8 not subject to being corrected by my learned friends i find that the not the inquiry is in relation to the third uh, the third serial number mm. although there is no serial number mentioned here but by comparing the work code i find it relates to the third matter mm. so there's a possibility that not the officer has not gone into the other uh, other bonds he should i i think he should not in all fairness he must and if you if you want you challenge lord sir with regard lord to his uh, 11000 he will have to initiate hmm may i be permitted to place the appeal is the same regulation it relates to that 169 yes, can it lord. be said to be in compliance with the earlier order passed by the honorable division bench no lord i am not supporting Where the order the at all you Absolutely. have the decision yes. lord i am not in the i am not at all supporting I'm not no, no, what he, he must see. give reasons. Number one, he must give reasons. Then his assessment must carry some ground. No, if suppose, but he, even no. otherwise, he has not carried out not the assessment in respect of all the bonds. That was I thought. No, if he think. has given up ten, twelve instances, that may be right. But as the district magistrate and the district pro program coordinator, he can take up the for inquiry the entire allot. Even beyond the list. Yes. Absolutely, Lord. Respectfully, I am submitting, my Lord. In my earlier complaint, Lord, this is not an admission. We will dismiss your writ petition, Lord Sir. We will dismiss your writ petition, Lord Sir. But still give direction because, my Lord, there is a recovery against you also, my Lord. Kindly, my Lord. Kindly, my Lord. Kindly, my Lord. Allow me to submit, my Lord. My Lord, since I am also from a village, my Lord. Actually, the there is no one to see that how those, my Lord. This Manrega Milord is being implemented. Implemented Milord. We will. Everyone Milord. We will. Most tell. most of the officials Milord they are involved in such Milord illegality Milord in siphoning the money Milord. A person Milord somehow Milord. A person Milord somehow managed to Milord agitate against such illegality Milord. And the authority Milord at the time of hearing Milord the petitioner Milord submitted the entire document Milord entire document. Correct sir. There is no whisper Please. that. You are. You cannot challenge that order. Milord, I am not challenging. I am not challenging. Milord, please challenge that. Milord, I am not challenging that. Uh, I, I have only stated in my petition that sub that that is beyond the knowledge of the petitioner that how that amount was imposed upon the petitioner. Milord, that's a different aspect. Lord, sir, that's a different aspect. Lord, sir, in my earlier petition, Milord, not only the pond pond excavation was not only the subject matter, Milord. Kindly have a look my complaint, Milord, page one zero four, Milord. There are other in most in most of the milord the schemes there is siphoning up money milord. Right. No work has been done milord. They have not looked sure. into those milord. This public interest litigation, the petitioner seeks. And milord, no step has been taken against the pardon milord. Seeks for appropriate direction the against the awesome. respondents four to six, huh? for siphoning off so this public, public funds right to convert which have been allotted under the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, two thousand five. earlier the petitioner had approached this court by filing a public interest litigation in wpa p 
486 of 2022, which was disposed of by the division by bench this. by order dated 31st October 2022, by directing the district magistrate, Kama Uttar Dinajipur, to look into the grievances expressed in the ex representation given by the petitioner dated 12/9 2022, and conduct an inquiry, and if required, take appropriate action. After giving well, opportunity of hearing to the petitioner and all the concerned respondents, a time frame was also fixed to complete such exercise. It appears that the district magistrate, Kamal Uttar Dinajpur, had commenced an inquiry, and he has passed an order on 31st, 30th January 2023, listing out uh, work done under three schemes, and uh, has directed. Recovery of a sum of rupees four comma seventeen comma seven forty one from the pradhan of Jagdishpur GP, and also a sum of rupees eleven thousand four sixty from the writ petitioner for three schemes which have been listed out in the said order. However, the order dated thirtieth January twenty twenty three passed by the district magistrate. Cannot be stated to be in compliance with the directions. Does not appear to be district magistrate. Court. It appears to be for the district magistrate, not by the earlier order. District magistrate was a person or designator. Ah, uh, it appears for district district. Um, is not in compliance with the directions issued by this court in its order dated thirty first October twenty twenty two, as a direction was specifically issued to the district magistrate, and from the order, it could be seen that it it is signed as for district magistrate. Therefore, it is not clear as to which authority who inquired into the matter. That apart, in the representation given by the petitioner, not only the three schemes have been listed out, but several other schemes have been listed out. When a direction is issued by this court to the district magistrate to look into the grievances with regard to the allegation of siphoning of public money, it goes without saying that the district magistrate should conduct a comprehensive inquiry and not restrict the same. to only such of those schemes which have been pointed out in the representation the district magistrate being the guardian of public finances which are to be distributed under his orders is required to make a comprehensive inquiry and to ascertain as to whether any irregularity or illegality is has occurred in the process of um utilization of the funds under this various schemes it is rather surprising to note that the pradhan of jagdishpur gp himself has committed a defalcation and a sum of rupees 4,17,741 has been directed to be recovered if the pradhan has is uh, is guilty of um, uh, misappropriation or um, misappropriation of public money it is not only the money should be recovered but action should be taken against the said pradhan in accordance with the relevant statute so far as the recovery directed to be made from the writ petitioner is concerned comma it is for the writ petitioner to challenge the same in appropriate proceedings therefore technically speaking the writ petitioner could not have maintained a second pil on the same cause of action be that as it may since we are concerned about how the public fun public funds have to be utilized we direct the district magistrate to conduct a comprehensive inquiry of all the schemes which have been so far implemented or in the process of being implemented and after after issuing notices to all the concerned persons who were directed to implement those, those schemes uh, a, a, um, a, a, an order be passed uh, taking note of all the factors uh, which are required to be taken as also as to how the schemes have to be implemented in terms of the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act 2005 in order to ensure that the inquiry is conducted in a full fledged and proper manner we direct the ombudsman sent to notice the second respondent namely the secretary comma panchayat and rural development government of west bengal to monitor the enquiry and the district magistrate shall send periodic reports 
to the second respondent as to how the matter proceed uh, is proceeding therefore the uh, in the light of the above the writ petition is disposed of with the above direction leaving it open to the petitioner to question the correctness of the demand made from him uh, in the manner known to law Uh, that apart, in terms of the order dated 30th January 2023, direction has been um, issued to impose penalty under Section 25 of the said Act. You know, the appropriate authority. Uh, 1,000. 25. <laughs> uh, my goodness. 25. The appropriate authority is directed to initiate action in accordance with the law in terms of the said provision. The above direction be complied with within a period of two months from the data received of the server copy of this order. Next. Thank you. Extremely grateful. Yes. Serial number three. They will happily Deeply pay absurd. out of their pockets. Fine is only 1,000 under the statute. Absurd. That will be in addition to the other directions. Yes. Yes. Not to install the mobile tower. On what ground? Radiation, is it? Radiation. Affecting of the people. That is all settled by Supreme Court. Whatever it is, you give a uh, pollution control board has got nothing to do with this. If at all you want, you go before the district magistrate. That's all. This is more of uh, rivalry with your neighboring. Undivided property. Undivided property. property. That's the real reason. The then let the DM examine. But that cannot be. It must be by a civil court. Which one is his portion? Which one is other side's portion? But if the property is undivided, then his consent also may be required. Somebody is putting. Yes, up. yes. In fact, yes. they have not obtained the NOC from any of the residential area. All right. By this red petition, uh, the petitioner seeks for a direction. To consider uh, upon the district magistrate Purva Medinipur to consider his representation dated 28 to 2023, objecting to erection of a mobile tower. The contention of the petitioner is that the property being an undivided property with several owners, comma, uh, without obtaining the consent of all the owners, uh, uh, mobile tower can should not have been uh, should, mobile tower cannot be erected. That apart, the residents of the locality, numbering about 50, have also signed, a, signed the representation uh, stating that, that uh, there are uh, that the tower is hardly 20 meters away from the residential area and, uh, and uh, it may affect the local public. Uh, so far as the issue relating to radiation from the mobile tower, etc., the law has been settled. Uh, that uh, those are all issues which are mere apprehension. However, the other grievance stating that the, the plot in question is an undivided property and there are several owners is a matter which requires to be considered. Accordingly, we direct the second respondent from our district magistrate, Puru Medinipu, to consider the representation given by the petitioners after issuing notice to the Notice to uh, uh, one of the notice to the first petitioner as well as the fifth respondent company, uh, and after hearing fifth and eighth respondent, and after hearing the parties, our uh, appropriate orders be passed on merits and in accordance with the law. And uh, uh, as expeditiously as possible, with, preferably within a period of. Four weeks from the date of receipt. My lords have been kind enough to hold that the, the, the these are property is a joint property. There is no semblance of document. In his the Lord is pointing out in his representation, mobile number is given. But if the finding is that uh, it is a joint in the representation, the mobile number has been furnished, and he objects to the installation of the mobile tower. Sir, one, one line you add. It, uh, it is made clear that we have not gone into the merits of the matter. And it's open to the district magistrate to consider the correctness of the grievances expressed by the writ petitioners. Great. Next. Serial number four. 
my lord uh, notice has not been served yet to the respondents that's why no i am appearing for state but vitally interested respondent is the kolkata municipal corporation what is the grievance illegal uh, construction of building who is putting up the construction in various places he is not naming he is no, not no. named by this writ petition the petitioner uh, the writ petition styled as a public interest litigation the petitioner seeks for a very sweeping and wide direction to take action against illegal and unauthorized construction in the entire area falling within the jurisdiction of the kolkata municipal corporation so they he has furnished some of the premises numbers in premises number has been given but who are doing neither they have been All right, party. consider the representations um, in in the affidavit filed in support of the writ petition uh, certain details have been given with regard to certain premises where anathris construction has been going on uh, the kolkata municipal corporation within whose jurisdiction the alleged illegal construction is going on should examine the matter and it is not required that somebody should bring to the, their notice about any illegality occurring within their jurisdiction therefore without going into the correctness of the allegations made we would direct the authority to consider the uh, petitioner's representation and conduct an inquiry into the matter uh, and wherever uh, i have action is required to be taken if it is found uh, that that there are illegal and unauthorized construction necessary action be taken in accordance with law well in two premises all right the writ petitioner shall submit a copy of the representation along with the copy of this order to the kolkata to the appropriate authority of the kolkata municipal corporation for compliance of the direction next from the police report i find my lord two of the premises were inspected by the kolkata municipal there is no illegal construction next pl number 5 lordship mr kushal pal is appearing in this matter on behalf of the petitioner lordship hmm. he is unwell lordship he requested me over telephone you, you tell us what for an you, you tell us what it is withdraw the notification dated 6th november 2022 What is sixth November notification? Food Department of Food and Supplies. Oh, sorry, sixteenth November. Lordship, it is a Hello. new notification for uh, establish of a uh, fair price shop, Lordship. Fair price shop. But that is uh, in that area. There is already another uh, shop is exists, Lordship, and there are eleven um, uh, villagers, Lordship. They have to collect um, ration, Lordship, and they have to travel for eight to ten kilometers, Lordship. Hmm. For that, they have made representation. for um, cancellation of that notification and to establish a new shop in um, area of uh, andhariya mohiza lordship in a, in a neighboring area yes lordship what happened to that representation at page 15 that is annexure p2 27th february you are given representation lord uh, in this matter mr tm siddhi is appearing for the state respondents he is at present uh, at what, what is your instruction my lord uh, i am not briefed in this matter your lordship i'm um, just mr siddiq is briefed in the matter yes your lordship so what is the instruction given to mr siddiq my lord uh, i actually he should no just I, god he has asked you to come and represent at least I'm, he can tell i'm only praying for some pass over your lordship pass over you can't take it up later sir yes, where is it? we will direct your representation to be considered lordship. by this public interest litigation the petitioner seeks for relocating a fair price shop to a different locality and in this regard several persons are stated to have signed the representation dated 272 2023 and submitted to the food supply inspector who is the seventh respondent without going into the uh, merits of the allegations made in the representation we direct the seventh respondent to consider the representation and take action in accordance with it this direction be complied with within a period of two weeks from the date of receipt of the copy of this order disposed of next 
serial number six. Right. Right. I have instructions to appear on behalf of the National Medical Commission. And no copy has been served on my clients. But copy has not been served upon us. I am appearing for the response number eight. But the matter is, I know, I just, hot matter, mm. you lost it kindly come to page 14 and extra P1. Then, next page. Here, one Dr. Urunang Susit invested five course, a junior doctor in a nursing home. My Lord, where from your lordship, then your lordship is kindly come to my lord, page 21. First paragraph, 21. Then second paragraph, page 21, P2. The one doctor named Urunang Susit had been stated his profession as a medical practitioner in various nursing or medical shops, mainly in Tomluk area in district of Purumedapur, West Bengal. That one did petition, such and such has been filed at a seat before the Honorable High Court Calcutta. I have gone through the petition portion. Mm -hmm. In Anaksha, where it has been found, the seat has been invested amounting to rupees five crores uh, for the purpose of building and other assets of OSC nursing home, polyclinic Tomluk Pur or Mennapur. That one. Why are you agreeing? You give a criminal complaint. Who is the red petitioner? Malak? He has invested five crores. Might have been his own money, somebody's money. For, in for investigation by the ED, I'm paying. That is coming. Uh, huge amount. Maybe. By this public interest litigation, the petitioner seeks for considering his representation uh, dated 27-3-2023. Full stop. Perusal of the representation shows that it is purely uh, a private matter with regard to the alleged investment made by the ninth respondent in a private hospital. Uh, if, uh, given the facts and circumstances, the public interest petition cannot be entertained. Chronically dismissed. Next. Grateful. Yes, you give, wait and give the slip. Please call. Next. Serial number seven. Seven, my lord, I am for the private respondent. I am for the West Bengal Pollution Control Board. I am happy with the, we have the petition, my lord. My lord, the kindly, my lord, the town, my lord, page, my lord, 26, my lord. My lord, give me the representation before the members of the Malot ke kani malot ke town malot page malot on the basis of representation malot ke the pollution column text malot 28 28 malot direction to this ke block land and block development officer 28. Malot ke malot ke they have no step was taken malot I am paying for malot direct to the member secretary. Malot ke ke upon giving the all parties malot ke reasonable upon your hearing and ke dispose of the matter malot ke and take that necessary action in it. I am for the pollution control board. Malot here, malot I am for the private respondent. My pollution that ready to application not maintainable because dispute between two private respondents. I am running my business my own land. Obtain all the certificates. Being biasness has lost complete. Well, this is not for, 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 under the public interest litigation. So you have got all not, the, yes, my lord. You have got the consent order under the yes, yes, I have all, all the pages, all the documents. Then we are so, not manufacturing the stones, not crushing the stones, only trading. No crushing. No. Well, for for these, these kind of business, my lord, no consent to operate is required, my lord. Yes, no, no. He says the allegation is they are crushing. Silicon dust is coming out, but your friend says that he is only selling. No. Selling, selling, selling. But you have directed the. Authority. I have directed the BDO, my lord, to BDO consider can the. Go, go examine it. Yes, yes. By this writ petition, the petitioner seeks for a direction upon the authority, the more particularly the seventh respondent, to uh, to take further action pursuant to. The communication received a communication from the West Bengal Pollution Control Board dated 30th May 2022. By the said communication, the complaint regarding mm -hmm. dust 
nuisance caused from loading and unloading of stone chips in the relevant area has been forwarded to the seventh respondent to take appropriate action. According to the private, uh, the according to the learned advocate appearing for the private respondents, come the allegation is entirely false, and uh, the private respondents uh, have uh, possessed the necessary license to carry on the trading activities, and there is no crushing of stone uh, involved. In any event, these are all matters where factual details have to be gone into, and it is best decided by the seventh respondent. Therefore, we direct the seventh respondent to take further steps pursuant to the advice given by the West Bengal Pollution Control Board by a memo dated 30th, 30th May 2022. And if necessary, oh no, sorry, after issuing notice to the private respondents and conducting an inspection of the area. And thereafter, pass orders on merits and in accordance with law. This direction be carried out within a period of six weeks from date of. Uh, receipt of the server. Next. Great. Serial number eight. No, I'll put up the No, no. Mobile tower. Depends on my lot. Private respondent. Mobile tower, sir. You are not reading any of the judgments. Selling the illegal mobile tower, my lot. Lordship appearing on behalf of respondent number one. Wow, what is the allegation in the representation? Then is the, the congested area, my lord. These are congested. By this petition, the petitioner seeks for uh, no petitioner objects to erection of the um, mobile tower on the ground that the consent of the villagers have not been taken. There is no rule or regulation pointed out by the petitioner as to um, um, in this regard as to whether the consent of the villagers is required. Therefore, no relief can be granted in this public interest litigation. Dismissed. Next. Yes. I'll call the next case and then give the first. May I please remove? Serial number nine. May I please remove? Lord, uh, the public interest litigation has been preferred by the mother of one of a prisoner, my lord. Hmm. And she has brought before the knowledge of the Honorable Court, my lord, the rampant corrections, corruption, my lord, which is inside the jail, my lord, and the fundamental rights of the prisoners are being violated by the authorities of the jail, my lord. We have quoted the instances and given the facts, my lord, which would suggest that how the jail authorities are treating, my lord, and the violating the fundamental rights of the prisoners, my lord. In this case, my lord, prior to filing of the writ application also, my lord, the conduct of the jail authorities was also brought before the Honorable Court's knowledge, my lord, and the Honorable Court in other case, my lord, has also taken cognizance of the matter and issued contempt notice to the jail superintendent, my lord, in another case. And, my lord, certain other facts with regard to the treatment of the VIPs, my lord, was also brought to the knowledge of the court, my lord, in previous matters, which was reported in daily newspapers. Now, now, have you given a representation to the secretary or home secretary, no. chief secretary? Or representation. First, you should approach the highest authority or the director general of, uh, I mean, ADGP of correctional homes. So he will conduct surprise inspection. In fact, we have done through legal services authority also. Uh, the DLSA secretary will go to these uh, jail, uh, I mean, uh, lockups and uh, to the local correctional homes, examine the quality of food, yes. whether the diet chart they are following, yes. and uh, whether medical checkup is being done. So first you have to go, because what happens is, uh, the petitioner is the mother of an under-trial prisoner. Yes. And there is a case registered against him, according to you, yes. uh, they have pressurized him to accept as if he is... Uh, had a mobile phone, etc. Not only that, Milad, we have what we want to bring to the knowledge of the court, Milad, the manner what I have been informed just now, Milad, that one of a Pakistani terrorist who is inside the jail, he has been convicted for life imprisonment. He has been made the mate of the jail and he is collecting money from the prisoners and giving that to the jailer. And in his cell, even the tele televisions are also installed. Oh, these are the things petitioner Milad. is the mother of an under trial prisoner and by with this public interest litigation 
the petitioner states that there are several illegalities and irregularities going on in the uh, which uh, presidency correspondence come yes. alipur kolkata from the uh, writ petition we find that the petitioner has not submitted any representation for bringing out uh, the uh, the grievances or the alleged irregularities or illegalities um the petitioner before approaching this court ought to have uh, uh, placed the facts before the concerned authority and in the event of an inaction by the concerned authority could have approached this court in any event without uh, informing the concerned authorities comma the petitioner should not have filed this writ petition uh, uh, which in our view is premature at this stage therefore we dispose of this writ petition giving liberty to the petitioner to submit a representation to the second respondent enclosing a copy of the affidavit filed in this writ petition as well as a copy of this order and this uh, on receipt of the same the second respondent shall look into the matter and uh, direct one of his officers to conduct surprise inspections and uh, and if any illegality or irregularity is found appropriate action be taken in accordance with the law this uh, direction be complied with within a period of uh, four weeks on the date on which the petitioner submits the representation item yeah. number 10 highly obliged next item number 10 my lord i am appealing on behalf of the petitioner my lord very good i appeal for the statement in this instant case your lord sir issue is relating with uh, my lord uh, learned district judges court purva bardhan where my lord uh, um, um, one siege work was conducted by the associate public prosecutor and my lord uh, uh, petitioner is the wife of undertale prisoner my lord my lord uh, there was a date fixed for trial on uh, my lord uh, 4 april and that day my lord when uh, trial uh, trial date what was fixed and previous day uh, my lord uh, 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 has been disposed of that is 170 of my lord uh, 2023 it has been disposed yes ma'am by an order dated 26th of uh, april 23 my, my lord my lord that day i was also uh, page and my lord and i have mentioned the matter for analogous hearing my lord my lord my my submission is my lord uh, yes, uh, Wait, no no please hear us read my lord prayer, uh, prayer b my lord kindly give direction upon the state to uh, speedy trial my lord that because police authority that is can't doing be, that can't be done. that can't be done in a pil uh, what what was disposed of you said the uh, wpa p 170 of 2023 mill normal c has been restored ah, normal c yes, has restored. been restored but he but wants this mill red petition perhaps has been filed during the time when the mill the disturbance mill was going this red petition so has been filed for uh, with regard to the agitation which took place in the district court at pura bardhaman and the petitioner also seeks for a speedy trial in ndps case number 21 of 2022 in terms of the directions issued in an earlier petition in wpa number sir what is that number sir chat 170 of 2023 sorry 170 of 2023 normal c has already been restored with regard to the direction sought for um for speedy trial comma the same cannot be uh, issued by this court in a public interest litigation our we grant liberty to the concerned accused to move the concerned court for expeditious hearing of the said case disposed of next petition number 11 11 well here the uh, one of the on behalf of the respondent number 6 and of a 7 cooperative society has filed this public interest litigation regarding the embezzlement okay. nepotism okay. and other corruptions huh? in, inside the cooperative society now lord no. is a delegated member so first uh, hurdle i have to uh, pro- probably cross that what is my interest there is no interest involved because lord shiv i do not have any other forum to go to seek any redressal about this implementations no of what their, is the what is the allegation what the allegation is lordship they themselves by forming a committee 
has identified mm-hmm. certain things which can be reflected from page 34, Lord Shri. Kindly come to page 34 okay. straight away. This is finding by Malda District Central Cooperative Bank Limited. Lord Shri, kindly come to the last paragraph. The committee therefore proposes the following. To initiate disciplinary action against such and such and to refer the matter of re- matter to the Register of Cooperative Societies, West Bengal. Since in addition to the bank officials, the signature of the bank still was also there, who is not under the control of the board of directors of the bank, to undertake a thorough joint inspection into the irregularities of Piyashbari SKUS. And now, Lordship, this was uh, identified by the Malda District Cooperative Banks in Limited. Where, when was this? Uh, now, it is undated. It is not dated. Now, this is continuation of a document which starts from in the month of November 2020, which can be reflected from page 33. Uh, 33. Yes, yes. November 2020. 2020. The agriculture section comments. of the bank informed the chief executive officer. All right. That, what happened thereafter? Thereafter, Lordship, I we don't know what has happened. However, this person... One you, should of, have, you should have sought information under the RTA Act. You don't do any exercise. You just drop one, uh, one uh, letter by speed post and next morning you are here. His Lordship, Lordship, kindly come to page, uh, page 50. And this is some insider, sir. Somebody who's giving all this... Uh, no, uh, Lordship, uh, kindly consider the, the, their own He's an insider. Somebody has been set up... Admittedly, of... admittedly Lordship, that okay. he is a delegated member. It's an admitted position. However, once this fact... All right, what happened after this inquiry? I'm appearing on behalf of the respondent number 6 and 7, Malda District Seven uh, Yes. Hello. These persons have been given promotion after that. Hello. I've given annexed the documents. Document is not annexed. No, no. Who appears for the Registrar of Cooperative Societies? I am to represent. Sir, sir, you take action. If complaint comes, Malo, do you have different... No, no. 2020, the committee has resolved. Various illegalities they have done. No, if, unless there is a complaint, the statute provides there must be a complaint. Dispute. Sir, yes, the registrar has got so much of powers. He can in, examine the accounts of any of the society which is registered under. True, but then unless the report comes, allegation comes, what is to be inquired into? Let this be inquired into. But no amount of loan has been disbursed. Till date for the credit limit in post Sir, the no monetary loss has been faced by the bank, my lord. No, the but com- remains in field matter, my the lord. Co- the committee t- has made certain recommendations. It you are, the committee constituted by your bank, no. cooperative no. bank. Committee constituted by your cooperative bank has made certain recommendations. Um, and uh, his grievance is nothing has been done thereafter. So if you have to... You have Dada, this person has been given promotion. I have given, kindly come to page 50. One of them have been given a chance to practice as a private practitioner is a charter accountant. Arjun Agarwal and Sauru Bhattacharya, disciplinary action has been taken. Then what about uh, recovery of uh, any... Uh, no, uh, no monetary law. All right, you do one thing. Let your bank submit a report to the register. The registrar will call for records. If he wants, let him satisfy. If suppose further direction has to be done, initiation of the action against the, uh, your staff, your managers, etc., you abide by his directions. Uh, Lord Shiv, kindly come to page 50 once. Despite of that, this Arjun Ragarwal has been given a promotion. In page 50. Action Already disciplinary action started. Disciplinary action started, promotion has been given. Okay, He's being rewarded. And so that also, yeah. Then also he has been given a promotion. That is exactly that is not my, that is raised, it's not the business of the registrar to look into the no, disciplinary that is the action. Point. Uh, but uh, the registrar can examine whether the affairs of the society yes. are uh, being activities come. of the society, yes. On complaint, he has to. By by this repetition, the petitioner seeks for a direction upon the authorities to take action against the illegalities committed by the seventh respondent cooperative society, cooperative bank, which is registered under the provisions of the Act on the file of the eighth respondent, the Registrar of Cooperative Societies, West Bengal. According to the petitioner, though a committee which was constituted by the cooperative bank 
to examine as to whether any illegalities have been committed. And the committee having found that various illegalities have been committed has recommended action to be disciplinary action to be initiated against Sri Arjun Agarwal and Sri Saurabh Bhattacharya. And the committee directed the matter to be referred to the Registrar of Cooperative Societies since in addition to the bank officials, the signature of Block C1, CI, was also there, who is not under the control of the BDO of the bank. Further, direction was uh, given uh, to take, undertake a thorough joint inspection into the irregularities of Piasbari, P-I-A-S-B-A-R-I-S-K-U-S, -S, all capitals. The petitioner would state that nothing has happened thereafter. The learned uh, advocate appearing for the seventh respondent cooperative society submitted that already action has been taken and the bank authorities have been directed to initiate no, no. disciplinary action against the employees. Sri Aru, no Arjun, loan has been sanctioned. No loan has been sanctioned. Right, Arjun Agarwal and Sri Saurabh Bhattacharya. Further, um, the learned advocate has placed a uh, copy of a memo dated 26 January 2021, wherein it stated that as per the complaint received from the ex-manager and the employee of the society, um, re relating to fourth signatures of the credit limit, comma, the BDO has decided in the meeting dated 21st January 2021 to cancel the said credit limit from the date of its coming into effect, full stop. Further, it is stated that the society will be solely liable for the financial delinquency, if any, in the intervening period and will be dealt with appropriately. The learned advocate for the cooperative bank, the seventh respondent would submit that there is no financial loss to this society. The correctness of the stand taken by the seventh respondent society has to be, uh, has to be decided by the registrar of cooperative societies, namely the eighth respondent. Therefore, we direct the seventh respondent to submit a comprehensive report of all the act, all the inquiries, action taken by them in respect of the alleged irregularities. And on submitting the, on, the, on receipt of the report, the eighth respondent shall examine the report for its correctness, call for additional information re if required, direct if any inquiry is required to be conducted and thereafter take a decision on merits and in accordance with law. Copy of such decision be communicated to the writ petitioner. The above direction will be applied within a period of three months from the date of receipt of the report from the seventh respondent society. Uh, in my we shall submit the said report within a period of four weeks from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order. Next. Lord Shiv, I submitted, Lord Shiv, one thing, Lord Shiv, that in spite of this, they have been given promotion and other benefits. Lord Shiv, that may be reflected in the order. Because... Mm -hmm. Give the order promotion. Next. Yeah, it's, it's given. Lord Serial Shiv. number 12. It's, it's given in page number 15. He is not here. Hmm? That person, Anupam, is not here. He's no, not I'm for the here. petitioner for a rape and murder of a minor girl. But I want to be added as a party to this proceedings. My Lord, I am is my the of service. unfortunate police officer who after this incident was lynched and is at the moment dying in hospital. My Lord, probably, my Lord, this PIL, my Lord, may not lie. My Lord, the victim, my Lord, has already filed, my Lord, on the same issue. Mother of the my victim. Mother of the mother, victim. Mother, mother also of the victim. victim. That is what, when your, your learned advocate mentioned, we said, we read from the newspaper. Yes, my lord has yes. already filed. So what we suggest is Malo. we grant you liberty to intervene in that proceedings. If you have got additional records, you place along with, along with this. No, along with the in that writ petition. In Sir, that writ petition. Because mother is more concerned than, than the public interest litigant. So suppose you have got material, you place it before the writ court. Let Malo. the writ court decide. It is already passed certain direction. Yes, my lord, and the mat, my lord, I have a... After filing this public litigation, mother filed the petition is, for that investigation. Is a, that is a more serious litigation than this. Malo. My lord, here there are just three paragraphs. My lord, in this, my lord, writ petition. And my lord, the remaining paragraphs are all, my lord, 
extracted from earlier rates. By this public interest litigation, the petition may I shop it one thing, my lord? Appropriate directions. Ma'am, may I shop it one thing, my lord? One second, sir. One second. With the appropriate directions to uh, um, um, to take a, a stringent action with regard to the incident of rape and death of the victim, which had occurred uh, in so and so area. What? Both the matter may be hard together within the jurisdiction of the Kalyaganj police station. Uh, we find that, uh, no, the, we have, the learned advocate general appearing for the respondent state submitted that the mother of the victim has filed a reputation before this court in WPA 10346 of 2023 and uh, orders have been passed and the latest of the orders passed in the reputation is dated 27-4-2023. Therefore, uh, when uh, when the, the mother of the victim is already before this court, we see no reason to entertain a public interest litigation on the said issue. If at all the petitioner has got any additional material, it is always open to the uh, petitioner to assist the mother of the victim with the above observation, it puts in disposed of. Next. Serial number, serial number 13. Next. Will I hope to appear on behalf of the petitioner? Yes. Am I audible to your lordship? Very audible. Your uh, video is also Lord, illegal. Lord, the petitioner is a retired. Yes, my lord. Petitioner is a retired teacher and concerned with the development and well-being of the inhabitants of the said village, my lord. Earlier, petitioner has filed and read PIL in public interest litigation in India 2009. That was disposed of, my lord. On uh, my lord, page 18 is the order, my lord. With this, may I read the order? Milord, we disposed of the writ petition by issuing a writ of mandamus directing the respondents to take immediate steps against the private parties for removal of the illegal encroachment done on the public road, Milord. Immediately, I have communicated, Milord. After that, Milord, again, they have started construction, Milord. Milord kindly picks up page 19, Milord. Here, the district magistrate has specified that the petitioner submitted that one polarizato that is is the private respondent and Aditi Shorkar has encroached on the PWD land again, Milord. Uh, thereafter, I filed another read petition in the year 2019 at page 20, Milord, annexure P3. Milord, here the uh, order was passed, Milord. The petitioner was given liberty to approach the concerned authorities at the first instance, thereafter to approach before the Honorable Court in case any necessity arises, Milord. Immediately, I for communicated this order, Milord. Thereafter, the in illegal encroachments were not removed, Milord. Again, I made representation at an P4 annexure, Milord, page 21, Milord. Composite representation was made, Milord. Kindly takes up page 22. May I read your Lordship? Second paragraph, since the Honorable High Court, by its order dated such and such, directed the respondent, that is the address of the lead, to take steps for removal. Removal of illegal construction on the public road. In compliance of the said direction, the illegal enrollment was it becomes the incumbent duty of your good self to see that no further enrollment on the land that is Dupuri Palakata Road is made, as it would cause tremendous inconvenience to the passersby, students, medical operator, as well as public in yes. general. Oh, we have read the order. Come to page 40. 40. Oh, 41. 41. 41, my lord. I shall, I shall, my lord. Here, my lord, my lord, before what that, happened after that. What happened after that? My lord, after that, no steps were taken for the Take removal of the state. Now, we will direct implementation of this order if this order has not been what? challenged, you know, within a time frame. Within time frame and to file a compliance report in respect of this order what passed by the district of. You don't tell us what order we have to pass, that we will decide. By this I do apologize, Milord. Milord, I am suffering since last. I am a senior citizen, Milord. Milord, I am bedridden, Milord. Of the writ petitions filed by the petitioner, the grievances with regard to an illegal construction put up by so and so respondent. Pursuant to the directions issued in the earlier writ petitions, action has been initiated by the district magistrate Jalpaiguri. And orders have been passed on 23rd August 2021. The order clearly states uh, the order um, 
uh, has di uh, order directs the competent authority, namely the Jalpaiguri Zilla Parishad, to remove the illegal encroachment in the soup plot. The grievance of the petitioner is that till date the same has not been complied with. It is not clear as to why the said Zilla, Zilla Parishad is not a party. Oh no no. I, uh, till date, it's not it's it's not clear as to why till date the fifth respondent has not has not initiated any action pursuant to the directions given by the district magistrate. Uh, if the order has been challenged, if the order of the district magistrate has been challenged before any legal forum, and if any orders have been passed, it would be a different matter. However, if the order passed by the district magistrate dated 23rd August 2021 remains intact, comma, the seventh, fifth respondent has to necessarily take action for removal of the illegal encroachment. Therefore, we direct the fifth respondent to implement the order uh, uh, dated 23rd August 2021 passed by the district magistrate Jalpai Guri within, within a period of six weeks from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order if the said order has not been challenged or stayed by any legal forum. Disposed of. Next. Serial number 14. I'm grateful, Milot. Yes, sir. And this is a public interest petition. Recognize the existence of village Bokwal. Yes. And this what is, happened? And this is a case of... Uh, mistaken identity or a identity which is now being obliterated. My Lord, they are, the name of the village has changed. Yes, no, not changed. Huh. Lord, these are two villages side by side. Hmm. And all government funds, all government projects are being sanctioned and built in my village, hmm. but in the name of the other village. Hmm. The fund comes to the panchayat or the authorities in that village, but the construction is made in my village. As a result, As no a result, funds will be allotted to your yes. village. And I am, my lord, no person knows my village by the name. My lord, I have a long history. My lord, these are very uh, peace-loving people. Only uh, 100 or 200 families now are there. But if I have to go to that village, I have to re request uh, persons to uh, name the other village. Because of I have... Um, now, the, the, have, the identity uh, is lost. Identity is lost. Now, what happened to your representation? Page? Lord, nothing, my lord. Uh, I have prepared a supplementary affidavit oh. where the last... Uh, who, has I, to, who has to take action? My lord, uh, the... Uh, we will see. First, uh, let the district, district magistrate, magistrate... Yes, district magistrate. He says his, his identity is lost. But if a copy of the writ petition... Yes. By this writ petition, right. the petitioner... Please. A praise for a direction upon the respondents to recognize the existence of a village of Bhokal, B H A W K O L. According to the petitioner, he said village has lost its identity, though it has got a very uh, uh, great history, huh? and the people of the village are very are peace loving. It is stated that all projects, government projects, are. Are being sanctioned in the name of the neighboring village, namely Pana, P A N A, but are implemented in Bokol village. Uh, and as a result of which, funds are not sanctioned by the government for any project specifically for Bokol village. In this regard, a representation has been sent to all the authorities on 20th of uh, March 2023. and Proof of delivery of the said representation has been annexed along with the writ petition. But if the supplementary is looked into, mm. I represented. Looking at the facts, I came. Oh, thank you. Kindly see, my lord, annex uh, P5, uh, page 5 of ah. the supplementary. What, what happened? My lord, in that, there was no representation. Was that is why... This bench, the other bench, granted us liberty to granted file a representation. So file a rep if he has file a representation, that the the, uh, the district magistrate, South 24 Parganas, 
namely the fifth respondent is one second uh, fifth respondent is directed to consider the representation dated 23 2023 and examine the same for its correctness and uh, take action in accordance with law uh, Cop the in order to uh, law within a period of six weeks from the date of receipt of the copy of the uh, copy of the uh, server copy of this order, along with the copy of the representation, along with the copy of the representation which shall be forwarded by the writ petition. Right. Next, serial number fifteen, deeply obliged. I am for the petitioner. This also minor rape and murder of a minor girl. Same. Same order. Same. No. no. That is another. My lord, another. this is another, another. incident. Oh. Another incident. incident. Malda. No, my lord, this is my lord, another incident. Another incident. My lord, the investigation has been done. Post mod, my lord. I can put all that on affidavit to show my lord that my lord proper steps have been taken. And my lord, here, my lord, your lordships will find my lord, no allegation. No that... action was taken. No, no. Nothing. For which one after another incident? Sorry, sorry, sir. Compensation, anything you pay to the family? My Lord, the compensation will go through the usual route, my Lord. Here, there are four prayers here, my Lord. My Lord, one is, my Lord, transfer of investigation. Second is, my Lord, transfer of case. Third, my Lord, is compensation to be paid as per Motor Vehicles Act. And my lord, the fourth my lord is my lord, my lord, the special public prosecutor, my lord, to be appointed. My lord, these are the, the stage of the investigation. My lord, it happened, my lord, few days ago, my lord, we've done a lot. My lord, we hope, my lord, that we have already, my lord, the writ petitioner, sir. Advocate, lord, lawyer, of, this honor, lord, advocate, advocate of this honorable court. Advocate. advocate. And he has got all information. Yes, my lord. My lord, information is from the, from the from the newspapers. From the social media available and also but read lie. I, I I'll show the judgment, no, no, my lord. No. I'll show the judgment, my lord. Kindly give me time. Yeah. Read lie on the page of the news. No, 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 nothing doing. He is an advocate. Uh, where is he? Mr. Sundar Das. Where, where? Uh, you go to that place, sir. You go to the place, you do pro bono work, you assist the family of the victim, and then come before this court. If you don't withdraw this requisition, we'll dismiss it. As an advocate, responsible officer of the court, you collect some uh, press material and uh, you file a writ petition. Well, one you, you have to go to the scene. If he really wants to do legal service, he has to go to the scene. Not I sitting here in Kolkata. Well, I would die. You, you advise him properly. I would die. The, after some arguments, the learned, uh, 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 the learned advocate for the petitioner seeks permission to withdraw the writ petition to enable the petitioner advocate to, uh, to extend his services pro bono to the family of the victim. And if the family of the victim is willing to accept the services, it is open to them to do so. Next, dismissed as withdrawn. Serial number 16. Amarad, I appear for the concerned municipality. I beg to appear on the objection. We are for the petition as well. But I am for the private respondent number 10 a status report was asked for, my lord, mm. by this honorable court. What, what is the matter of concern? My lord, the matter is, my lord, that the there are two particular plots, my lord, mm. in Dandam area near airport, my lord. And this is a densely located area. Mm. And my lord, there was a pond, and my lord, for the purpose of utilization and also for the equilibrium of the society <laughs> as well as the environment, my lord, that was the very essential point in that locality. But the some promoters, they are they have tried to encroach that. There is another one that is a children's park. Hmm. All these are these two means dark numbers property are the vested land, and this is such that the when their vesting is going on, and my lord, the park was under the occupation of the municipality concern, that means South London municipality admittedly. Then, my lord, in that event, the promoters came into the picture. They have tried to encroach it. Then, my lord, in that event, my lord, the, the pond, the existence of the very pond, my lord, it remained in trouble, as well as the part of the children. 
my lord in that my lord circumstances my lord a status report has been asked for my lord i have been told that the junior of the lakshmi has appeared ah. you see the order dated 18th february 18th february of 2013 2013 it is very difficult at least at this age of no you don't, you don't have copies of the orders no no let let them enlighten also my lord we are here all the people but the, what is the order that i if i no 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 order sheet says oh yes archbishop has appeared for respondents 10 11 and 12 oh yes private respondent private respondent uh, no what happened pond is not there Pond is there or pond has been? No, no. Pond has been now. It has become a means four-story or five-story building. Five-story building. And Mr. Haradun Banerji is to answer it that the what Lord, they have done. Lord, if I may just, I know your lordship has appeared. No, no, no. So therefore, I will not make submissions. Please. Then, my lord, not only one thing I was on. This is not on merits. On the last occasion, my lordship has directed the paper books to be circulated. My lord, we are without that. Oh no, you very well, very well, very well. I think my lord, very well, very let very me well. know what is the order, and my lord, at least that I do not know what is the order. Paper book has not been ordered in the Please, website. Um, since one of us within bracket, uh, just Ranbir Bhattacharya, has appeared for the private respondents in this petition, come on, let the this matter is released from this court. Get to be. Then my lord, if now the position is, then my lord, that if the matter is released, then my lord, there must have to be at least that. Uh, I'll that, do it, sir. Huh? And the administrative side, and the administrative I'll side. I'll tell you. Not tell you. No, no, it is true, but I think that the well, that the that does not thing is pending on my file till till, yes. till Saturday. I was here whole of Saturday. Yes. All assignments have been done. Nothing is pending. Yes, my lord. That's it. I am grateful, my lord. Uh, what is the issue? ोटेशन Malad will kindly produce the earlier last date order. What you should know, and this is the copy Malad we have served along with the copy of the order. Order so and so matters to adjourn to enable CBA to file status report. Advocate is no longer in the panel. Learned advocate petitioner shall inform the officer of ASG about pendency. Malad, do you have? No, you are appearing. No, no, Malad, I am not appearing for the CBA. No, you can inform Mr. Ba. We, we have, have already. We have Malad pursuant to Malad's direction. We have already served the copy of the order. To the learned additional solution, but uh, are they aware that the matter is coming up today? So, but I have Malad, personally, the copy of the order informed that who is appearing on behalf of the CBI, Mr. Omojit. I have personally informed. Is why he is not here? But I, I, they are not giving any credence to this. Malad will kindly Chala. for a moment, but our for our satisfaction, kindly see once Malad the order did. No, no, we will print his name and list it so, tomorrow. Even February 2011. It is there. Why I am saying, my lord? It is submitted. Please, please. It is submitted that Mr. So and so. You please give the name and write. Uh, Appears for the CBA, and the advocate, learned advocate, junior advocate submits that he has personally informed the learned advocate for CBA. However, we find he is not present today. Let the matter be listed tomorrow. The name of so and so be printed in the daily cost list. How much did the number give you? Next. एरिया A totally non-residential purposes. My contention is that if this uh, this but, uh, it, it was part heard, then it has uh, yes yes many times heard. I have placed my lord the matter. I, everything is there. I'll place it again. It is first for the first time before your lordship, my lord. A uh, point is that lordship would my lord. This is the plot of land just opposite 
Bijon Bhavan, which is totally within the residential area, Salt Lake has been Mallard built. And there are specific places where it will be used for residential purposes, where it will not be used for residential purposes. Sector 3 is a residential area. I will show, I have relied upon a uh, master plan of 1981. All right, we'll fix a date for hearing. We can't yeah. do it before vacation. Yes, that, that I'll, I'll not stand in the way because this will that take some time and this should be a lot hard out. And time for the, the my clients. Allotment has been challenged and private this morning, my lord. And uh, there is no stay on that allotment. Yes. Uh, no, no, cannot free. Because of this. Uh, we don't know about I it. have not taken ad adjournment on single occasion. I want to do this matter. This is a earmark for park. No, if the allotment has not been taken on your uh, request, you have got other remedies. There is no stay in this PIL. Nobody is restraining the authority or you from utilizing the property if it has been lawfully. I'll fix it for hearing, my lord. There has been gross, I will I will able to show from the records, there has been gross illegality in the allotment. This was the, the originally for park. The requisitions appear to have been heard uh, uh, by the previous honorable division bench and was initially a parted matter and subsequently it has been departed. Since the pleadings are complete and the matter has to be finally heard, let the matter appear in the monthly list of June. Next. My lord, little bit of my lord, uh, precedence, my lord. Some precedence. Some come, precedence. Okay. See, today we are able to reach up to 19. Let us see. Next. Lord, uh, if lordship may kindly, June, according to the seniority of the matter, because yes, the lordship takes up older matters first. Yes, yes. So it Definitely. will be coming up according to the seniority. Yes. Kindly, my lord, kindly observe by retaining its position, my lord. That automatically CIS. A CIS. CIS will automatically tune it like that. Then, okay. not in the month list, kindly keep set date. No, no, it will come. Monthly list monthly. is like a C. No, no, nothing. <laughs> if you cooperate, the C can be reduced into a pond. Next. Serial number 20. <laughs> okay. Lord, I appear for the pollution control. Well, Lord, I appear for the private respondent. Right? Yes, Yes. Yes, my lord. I appear for the petitioner, my lord. My lord. So, then what happened to the earlier direction? The private respondents have appeared. My lord, uh, we, last occasion there was a direction to the municipal authority to make an inspection. Yes. My lord, they didn't do it. So I have not got any... Uh, uh, my lord, notice. as I am told by my junior friend, huh. that we are in compliance of your lordship's order, hmm. Notice has always been served. And copy, oh, I'm being on meeting. Copy instruction order. Tomorrow. tomorrow it will be done. <clears throat> so let's see, let it be actually for some time. So that Lord, can... uh, I have not received uh, any notice no, no. yet. If they are proceeding, they will proceed to take. But one thing very peculiar, my Lord. Ah. 2011 petition was APAM and was filed. And they, I, I, I think that well, not a single pair was made to young the persons who is making construction so that injunction corruption may be stopped. Today is 2023. Can you see the date of affirmation 2011? And not a single, there is no whisper about that. You conduct an inspection. Conduct As well, Lord Sisman. In, uh, in terms of, please, we have heard so and so. In terms of the directions issued on 3rd April 2023, the Kolkata Municipal Corporation has to conduct an inspection of the area after notice for all concerned. Uh, Mr. Banerjee and a senior advocate appearing for the Kolkata Municipal Corporation submitted that uh, action has been taken and the notices have been issued and the inspection will be conducted on 2nd May, on 2nd May 2023. Confirm uh, uh, Let the matter be listed in the combined monthly list of uh, June and the action taken report be filed by the Kolkata Municipal Corporation. I'm getting uh, games. My last occasion, your lordship was, was pleased to direct the survey copy of BLRO's report. Manad, kindly direct who them who to give a copy of BLRO. I am not appearing. I can't see. No, my lord, uh, state, state. state, state. Is that yes. The ball, my lord, oh. that the ball. The learned advocate appearing for the state shall furnish a copy of the BLRO's report 
to the learned advocate for the petitioner as well as within a week from malada and also respondent respondent respond and also to the kmc so that i can also understand and, and also to the learned standing board for the kolkata municipal council okay should be next serial number 21 private jhonpon ka matter is not maintainable before this court if you are not kindly consider the prayer but last time somebody appeared malat i appeared malat the malat the for petitioner nobody appeared but i appeared for the private respondent and mr malat senior appeared for the state not you kindly consider the prayer i have purchased the land i made application for conversion the conversion was granted and in for that moment i have already prepared a compensatory water body now mala they are challenging mala the order of conversion mala this is an appealable order all right none appears for the petitioner so on so for the respondent dismiss for non prosecution next grateful mala grateful sir serial number 22 may it please your lordship mala your lordship farmer suicide last occasion in the year 2000 well 79 farmers committed suicide now i have this year i have filed an application considering my application your lordship kindly come to your lordship order 3rd of april 2023 hmm yeah pursuant oh, to direction the, of the earlier order it has not yet been circulated kindly come to my lord directed to serve a copy of the petition in case member of the committee which was constituted earlier are no longer in office government shall request to the committee Mr. it has Sir, been submitted by the learned council for the petition copy of the report as well as the stand Last of the thing, committee uh, was not it has not been circulated my direction was issued to the registry to circulate the report my lord kindly come me paragraph 3 earlier direction was given to the petitioner council to serve a copy of the petition on this day and uh, we directed the reconstitution of the committee Well, any instructions you have got? May we come back, Lord? Tomorrow, may we come back, Lord? All right. At the request of uh, tomorrow, well, tomorrow. And Lord, it has report has not yet been circulated tomorrow by the registry. He says report not circulated by registry. Just next. Ah, Didi, I'm grateful, my Lord. Serial number twenty three. I have heard the response. Deeply obliged, Lord. I have suffered from the administrative action. I am respondent here, but my house has been demolished. We are, Malu, we are respondent number B, coordination committee. We have a building taking lease from the government, and that building was constructed as per the sanction plan of the municipality. But the authority, my losses can only come to page fifty. Page fifty. This is the order. And who appears for the red petitioner? A red petitioner, then they say. Yes. So Rohana Chakraborty, but the petitioner, man, he is, man, is arguing before him. Agar court, man, can leak, accommodate him, man, or man, make a short pass over. And uh, there is some order passed on seventh of Ma March. Yes, man, there after there. He has reached, man. Man, Lord Shiva was kind enough to direct, man, Lord, a state authority and municipal authority hmm. to file their affidavit on seven three. 2022 and malad we are yet to receive any copy malad uh, mr tapan kumar mukherji is appearing for the state and uh, mr mondal for the bankura municipality malio you are not uh, you are appearing for the state no but you are appearing for the state hum log aage appear karte ji samol sen samol sen ne samol sen has just kindly come to this is ill ye Uh, the occupies uh, around edward memorial hall 7 but it's occupied by an organization that part has been demolished my well, organization yeah, 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 the some yeah, left yeah, inclination yeah. of that organization is there immediately they have taken action so for the my lord the encroachment made by the municipality well, still my lord battery is still not pending since 2012 my mm. lord that part is yet to be complied with but uh, your sir Malad, give me some time so that I can take a proper instruction from the submitter. All right. Malad, my application is for Malad compensation because my losses can be come to page twelve. That is a page fifty one. That is an independent cause of action. No, Malad, there is order. Malad losses can be. All right. We have filed this application. 
first, first, first we will sort the... this out. Then we will consider. Mr. Lakshman said that we will consider this application. We will on the next one four one five. At the request of the learned uh, advocate appearing for the uh, state, list the matter on eighth May. Eighth May. My, my eighth May. Consider yes, yes. Let it be there. Eighth May. Eighth May. All matters will come on eighth May. Serial number twenty four. Direction could be. Twenty four. I pick to appear on behalf of the petition. Mr. Lakshman. The matter was initially filed. For murder of one girl in the uh, destitute. No, my lord, home. not one girl, my lord. May, it's my yeah. application. May I, my lord, uh, yes. lord, my lord? There were some instances of unnatural death, and my lord, immediately this application was taken out when my lord's pleasure, my lord, this court was pleased enough to my lord direct the Central Investigation Bureau to my lord conduct investigation. Then my lord, it was revealed that uh, several my lord violations took place on the my lord physically challenged and mentally challenged uh, girls. And my lord, some of them were murdered, and my lord, their dead bodies were my lord disposed of. Now, my lord, the CBI has taken action. My lord, that course is separate, pursuant to your lordship's directions. Now, my lord, one part remains is my lord, what about my lord the safety and security of these girls, my lord, who are in several homes throughout the state of West Bengal. Twenty eighth February lord, order, my lord, will kindly see. Twenty eighth February, two eight, my lord. Twenty twenty two. Report reveals dead body so and so ends claim according to offence registered uh, charge sheet file. Completion of trial, judgment convicted the accounts persons three not two thirty four. Also directed the council for the state to place on record district wise whether child welfare committees are constituted in yes. terms of the JJ. May I? Yes. That is very important. That is very important. The statutory requirement. Let me copy it. Back copy. I see. Can I? You can see. Do you want to see it? You must have seen it. I see. Can you see it? Now, let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. This report is of July 2022. Yes. By now, you should have reconstituted the committees. One list you say that reconstitution has to take place. You file a latest status report. I'll, I'll come back. Uh, in terms of the directions issued on 28th February 2022, a report has been filed by the who is this person? By the second respondent. Come on, Joint Secretary, Women, Child Development and Social Welfare Department, Government of West Bengal. Um, in the said report, it is stated that child welfare committees have been constituted in uh, 23 districts. 25, uh, 25, sorry, 25 child welfare committees have been uh, sanctioned. Sanctioned. For twenty-three districts, and at present, the committees has been constituted only in eight districts. Further, the committees in respect of seventeen districts are to be reconstituted. And the re recruitment of the chairperson slash members, in respect of the rest of the districts, is also under process. Let a fresh status report be filed by the second respondent as regards the present state of affairs. Matter be listed on eighth May. Wait for me. Very serious matter. May I get a urgent server copy, my lord? Urgent server copy. Next. I'm very grateful, my lord. Serial number twenty five to twenty seven. क्या बोल रहा है? क्या पौधे कुत्ते बोलते हैं? अब ये नहीं फाइबर दो। हेलो, all three matters were related to related hearing matter. Actually, APTB is complete. 
Mm. So it will take time to do <laughs> number one. In June, we'll have. Yes, mother, that is sad. But another matter, my lord, the advocate general is there. That is also related to this matter. Ah. Item number 30, uh, 21374. Uh, that is uh, 32. Mother. That is related to whether the uh, governor can give assent to an act which has already assented to by the president of India. So, therefore, all the matter related to if this decision is taken on that point, that point is already decided by the Honorable Appeals Court consistently since 1969 that uh, it is a, and just in the language of Justice Krishna, is abortive legislation because unless it is assented to by the Governor General, the 1977 Act. So I think, my lord, this should be tagged together. Initially, my lord, it was tagged together. 16241 uh, 2374 uh, WP of 2012. Yes, listed. 32. Item number? Item number. 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 Item and what are the other matters which are clubbed? Well, they... That is also related to the identical matter, transfer of government on the basis of a notification. When there is an act, whether the executive can make any notification contrary to that, that point is raised in... No, no. Sir, you are appearing in person for 25 and 32. 32. You, um, you are also appearing in item 30. And also 30, 26, 27 also not as a... As an advocate. <laughs> that is there. All right. Uh, the, uh, we have heard the petitioner mm, appearing in person and the learned advocate general. It is submitted that the petitioner is appearing in person in WPA 16241 of 2012, comma, WPA 20959 of 2012, and WPA 21374 of 2012, and appearing as an advocate for the other Four it petitions. Now, well, 20959 is a different matter. 20959 is a different matter. It is not connected. No, it, not is not connected. connected. it is not connected. So 20959 you delete. Hmm? 21374 alone. Huh? And, and appearing, huh? okay. appearing for uh, advocate for the other other two matters. Three it petitions. <laughs> it is submitted by the learned advocate that pleadings are complete and the matter may be set down for uh, 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 under the hearing under the heading for hearing in uh, in the, in June. I mean, this is an old matter, so it's set to because because lots of uh, order is being passed in the lower court in view of the inconclusive decision of this order. All right, my lord. I was only praying, my lord, subject to your lordship's approval. Any day after the 12th of June, my lord. Any no, day no, after. No. Then it can be in July. Very well. July. Well, July 20th. Serial number 28. None appears for, you are for the petition. No, man. For the corporation, my lord. Uh, what is that car, illegal car parking? My Lord, it is uh, really, my Lord, the uh, writ petition was directed against, my Lord, encroachment of footpath by hawkers. Then, my Lord, this honorable court was pleased to constitute a committee. Mm -hmm. he, Everywhere there is encroachment. No, it is there, my Lord, then ultimately, my Lord, my, my Lord will find, my Lord, the committee was there and the street vending committee is there. As per the central government's policy, my Lord, it is being done, my lord. Uh, the, it has been decided that the uh, uh, identity card and all other things and how they will act, my lord. It has been decided. It, it will be started. The decision, my lord. Uh, I have from the affidavit, my lord, in January 23. None yeah, appears for the petitioner. <laughs> and even on the earlier occasion, none appeared for the petitioner, as could be seen from the order, she, order dated 28 February 2022. The respondent, Kolkata uh, Municipal Corporation. I filed a report in the form of an affidavit dated 4th January 2023, uh, setting out the steps taken by the municipality for constituting for implementation of the provisions of 
the street vendors within bracket protection of livelihood and regulation of street vending bracket close act 2014 and west bengal urban street vendors within bracket protection of livelihood and regulation of street vending bracket close rules 2018 we ho hope and wish that whatever has been stated in the report is implemented by the kolkata municipal corporation with utmost seriousness with the above observation report should dispose of next serial number 29 give the appearance to Sorry. Serial number 29 appear for the Pollution Control Board. Hmm. Telio Lord's education. Telio Lordships. This was initially with regard to the allegation of a dumping ground in Shiliguri being indiscriminately dumped by the Shiliguri Municipal Corporation. And now the learned advocate representing the municipal corporation has since been elevated long back. Lord, since then, Lord, I found we find that nobody was appearing for the petitioners. Not on the direction of this honorable bench, Lord, twice, my Lord, the the law officer of the pollution control board had served notice upon the corporation. Lord, uh, now also I find nobody is appearing. Lord, I find a report in the month of two, in the in, in 2022 where the pollution control board had inspected and my Lord found that the Siliguri Municipal Corporation has taken certain steps and a couple of recommendations are also given. Lord, uh, if your lordship my lord uh, keeps it pending or if keeps it alive lord, i can make a fresh inspection and find out the exact state but uh, if you make an inspection you make a recommendation he has to do you have to ensure implementation that's it you issue a notice to the i have done it twice no you, you can take action penal action against under the prevention of um, i mean uh, both under the water act and the air act you can take you issue notice Very it says in the report given by uh, the assistant engineer of Silu, uh, that is your report. Lordship. SMC represented during the visit by the leachate treatment plant. None appears for the petitioner. This red petition focuses upon the indi indiscriminate dumping of garbage in the Siluguri Municipal Corporation area. But may I make, I'm sorry, may I make one submission? But as a last talkish chance, my lord, if your lordship allows me to, my lord, serve, my, me means my lord, the court. Hear this, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No purpose, sir, keeping it pending. Lordship. Huh? What, 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 what. Municipal corporation area. Uh, it is seen that the uh, West Bengal Pollution Control Board has conducted inspection twice. And inspection uh, report has also been drawn. And the latest of one be latest report being dated 17th January 2022. In the said report, the assistant engineer Kama WBPCB Siliguri Regional Office has recorded the following remarks. It is here. I'll put the sticker on. Huh? Wait a bit, cold down. Following remarks. The learned advocate for the uh, Pollution Control Board submits that repeated notices have been issued to the Silipuri Municipal Corporation. But uh, in the opinion of the Pollution Control Board, no appreciable steps have been taken by the Silipuri Municipal Corporation. If that be so, the concerned authorities are liable to be prosecuted by the, by the Pollution Control Board as they have got sufficient powers under the relevant enactments to take necessary action against the municipal corporation. Uh, therefore, we are of the view that the member secretary of the West Bengal State Pollution Control Board should take charge of, this, of the matter um, and initiate appropriate action in terms of the relevant enactments by directing the Suliguri Municipal Corporation to, uh, to follow all the norms uh, with regard to treatment of the um, garbage and other solid waste. In this regard, we direct this, uh, the member secretary of the uh, West Bengal Pollution Board, Control Board to issue appropriate notices and um, uh, notices to the Siliguri Municipal Corporation and ensure that the, um, the, the parameters stipulated under the various enactments as and all, and in particular, the municipal solid waste within bracket management and handling bracket close rules 2002 are strictly followed. 
and periodic inspection be directed to be conducted by the officers of the Pollution Control Board and the member secretary shall personally monitor the progress. Uh, progress. The above direction be complied with within a period of two months from the date of receipt of the survey of the order. Honorably, Next. one thing, one submission, my lord. Lordship has downloaded, has fallen from your lordships in one line. That, my lord, that I, submission has been made by me that no appreciable steps have been taken. Lord, kindly makes it either a court's direction or on the basis of the report. Did I say that? Yes. Uh, the respondent board would submit, not the council. I'm deeply obliged. I'm deeply obliged. Next. Real number 30. 30 and 31. Yes. Correlates. My Lord, uh, both the matters are not analogous, but correlated. Correlated. Now, so far, number 30 is concerned. I've, as I'm told, affidavits are complete. Hmm. I am for the KMDA, Kolkata Metropolitan Development Authority. Authority. So, my Lord, so far, the next one is concerned. Uh, they are, my Lord, affidavits not complete. Not so, complete. Not complete. Lord, let me say one. First of all, my Lord, uh, second matter, my Lord, there was an order in 2012 uh, that the KMDA should, because it's a peculiar situation, my Lord. Hmm. A person died in 1999. In 2005, he came from the heaven and, fi and filed oh, heaven, maybe in hell. Uh, submitted, submitted, uh, submitted a plan for uh, submitted a plan for construction of a building on a government land. On a government land. And it's a leasehold land. And my Lord knows very well, in view of the Hari's case, in Tamil Nadu's case, my Lord, that this, if your land is allotted under the Government Guns Act, therefore, the Government Guns Act is not applicable to the bodies. In that case, Section 106 TP Act will be applicable. And <laughs> Section 11. My Lord, there was a direction for filing affidavit 2012. Till date, no affidavit has been filed. But in other case, first case, affidavit is complete. Item 30, affidavit is a not Affidavit is complete. 31, affidavit is uh, not uh, affidavit to be filed. Affidavit is complete. 31, affidavit is not complete. When you will file the affidavit? My Lord, Lord, one vital aspect is there. Uh, my Lord, you know, the Parthu Ghosh, now he is actually better. Before his retirement, he, he lost his senses. That's very unfortunate. He used to appear. He made such a statement. Is not correct. My Lord, that is. My Lord, his made statement, the Supreme Court deprecated me and imposed cost <laughs> on a rich petition, having no such existence before the Supreme Court. Anyway. The Justice Oru Mistress Division Bench asked the KMDA to produce the order. I insisted that I should know the order against me. No, he's correct. He's correct. So, but, but, Just a minute. But that I, has, I, I but was that not... has to be my Lord set aside with that order. No, that's all right. That my, my Lord will do. <laughs> but question is this I cannot blame my colleague. But he's actually now, actually, he's yeah, thinking. He some, suffering from something. And I, I didn't appear at that time. Uh, out of, uh, he lost his senses. That's why he made a certain statement. So I, on the last two questions, I also pointed out, Honorable uh, Chief Justice. So that part may be deleted my work. It has got uh, that. But no, application, because when, when, when a uh, judicial order is passed, and <laughs> there is... No, 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 then it has to pass. That has to be... Hey, so the 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 now, who are the who are appearing for the allottees of plot eight and nine? Bharadaj. Yes, Mr. Bharadaj. Why well, don't know? He's the on last occasion, Mr. Poting Dhar was appearing on his behalf. His presence is needed because it was done in 2008. All those things were done long before 2008. But his lawyer was appearing earlier, so he is his duty to see. Because, no, because he's he appearing should... when he's appearing in the least, it is a notice to the person. No, in the order, it is not recorded that he has appeared. Yes, but Mr. Potik was appearing. He is in the record. His presence is needed. His presence is must. Then yes, yes, he is in the record. Because you want to quash the allotment made in favor of the 8th and 9th respondent. That's true. So, who is in, in this order? It is not recorded. Well, earlier, there are some orders, but in the order, he appeared. I, I can show him. But only I request my friend to serve. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Sub notice. No, no, he is appearing. I can say. I am requesting to serve another notice. Ah, no, yes, yes, that is there. No, in the second red petition also, that is uh, 20959. Uh -huh. Last hearing, he did not appear. He didn't <laughs> appear. But his presence is masked because but, he is but, the no. man. But he has filed his affidavit in opposition. Yes, yes, yes. And you file your reply also. Yes. But in this you file 
so far as the second writ petition will file mail that is maya mazmunda yes will file our petition will get me some time how much when how much time? 2012 matters that's too much actually it was also allotted in 2008 anyway then it doesn't matter uh, we have heard so on so so on so none appears for the private respondent we find from the records that affidavits have not been filed by the respondents in wpa 21739 of 2012 however the pleadings are complete in wpa 20959 of 2012 we direct the resp- uh, respondents both official as well as the private respondents in wpa 21739 of 2012 to file their affidavit in opposition within 2 33 weeks from date as you lost you know uh, and uh, reply if any within 2 weeks thereafter let the matter appear on 12th june oi part to delete kore dite bolechi na bolechi na but that part may be deleted that such a statement made by the lawyers that well how is supreme court i have seen in supreme court <laughs> that we have not said any i will show you that it is recorded in it is recorded by the submissions no 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 i have not we have not said any what that No, no. This earlier because I could. Yeah, oh, I just was recording. Then earlier. Earlier, not today. So may three weeks from date. Three weeks from date. May I leave my lord? Yes. Serial number thirty-three. But yes, no, I am just thirty-three. I appear for the thirty-two. My lord. Yes, item thirty-three. My lord, this matter paper book I file paper. This matter related to construction of a mall on the. Road, public road in Salt Lake. Mall on the public. Mall on the public road, big public road, eighty-six feet road on the road, and there is another thing that is the one of the classic example of fraud on authority. But uh, these are all from two thousand twelve, thirteen. That still pending. Still pending. I never sought any adjournment on ground. Only the state and others sought adjournment one after another. Now, who who appears for the private respondent? Well, earlier Mr. Mr. Sukhdeep Mukherjee was appearing on behalf of public the private respondent. Aprajit Mitra and Sapna. I appear for the KMD. KMD has no role in that. We have filed our opposition. Disclose. My lord, this is plot has been allotted to the Bidanagar municipality for construction of a market. Subsequently, the tender was issued, and a government undertaking got the tender, and by by manipulation it was cancelled. Uh, thereafter, a, a private person came into picture, and after an agreement was executed, thereafter and the land was the uh, lease deed was executed. That is another for for forgery on the part, and thereafter this is a big big road. And it is a settled line law. Knows better that on the road, if there is anything, it should be demolished. It is a public road, and government came to a conclusion. Okay, came to before this court and stated that oh no no we have realigned the public road. Then a division bench of Justice Mishra and uh, sitting with Shamsul asked, okay, if you have realigned this place, the document till date no document could be produced. They could not be produced. Mala Shal and they also misleading that there is no master plan in Shal Lake. There is a master plan. All right, we have to hear the matter. One we'll hear it. We don't know. Thirty-three uh, is also connected. No, no, thirty-three. But you kindly fix a date. This is because old matter, my sir. The public road. <laughs> For any division bench to hear, unless and until you make your arguments concise. Yes, is that one day, two days, and all? Nobody will. We can never well, on this we point. We can never give you a date, my lord. On this point, this point, my lord, already settled by the by the various high courts the and so on. So, none appears for the private respondent. It appears the pleadings are complete and the merit portion has to be heard finally. And the, let the matter appear in the monthly list of June next. Serial number thirty-four. I have also filed paper book. I don't know why paper book is not being placed. Paper book. Ah, see. No, it is there. You are just. Ah. My lord, in thirty-four, I am for the private respondent, my lord. Well, can you call one date? June, June. Yes. No, I beg to appear, my lord, on behalf of the petition. Hmm. I am for the KMD. I appear for the KMD. What is this, sir? Tell us. Sir, again, uh, illegal encroachment plot on public land. 
where Milord this honorable court was pleased to Milord appoint an uh, engineer, impaneled engineer to find out if there's an encroachment. The finding is Milord that there is encroachment. The extent of encroachment. Milord, All right, sir. Somebody will take action. If the encroacher files a red petition or files a civil suit, he will uh, agitate it. What more the red court can do? But the demolition is the prayer, my lord. It's on public land. All right, uh, we'll uh, issue if it is found uh, to be uh, an encroachment by the appropriate authority. But the author has the to take authority it. didn't find anything. That's what my complaint is before you. All right, now the commission. This honorable court appointed by with the honorable division bench was pleased to appoint encroachment found. Also found, my lord, that there is no sanction plan. So obviously, uh, uh, no, no, there is a sanction plan. My lord, the private dispute. His only his KMDS land, land. I I am not I am not the owner of the land. Is a KMDS is the without, sir. his land has been encroached as he says. In KMDS says there is an encroachment. Number one, number two, plan was sanctioned. Now actually the private dispute. He is in inconvenience. I have got no so private trying. dispute with him at all. No. I've got no no interest on the land. I've got no interest on anything. No, no. This. Where is that report which says yes. that there is an encroachment? One hundred and seventeen. And where is his house? Lord, uh, kindly have a look at. My Lord, there's a paper book. My Lord, kindly takes up the paper book. My Lord, on the earlier occasion also, I pointed out that after filing of this paper book, certain affidavits were exchanged. Hmm. They are not... Uh, <coughs> part of in the uh, part of this paper book, a supplementary paper book needs to be filed. Lord, the, I, I am not aware of that, Lord, of any other, Lord, it's a part of the document if my learned senior friend wants it. So it says, they considering can the width of the road at 12 feet as per the sanctioned plan, Yes. and as verified by the then assistant engineer, the encroachment of the road on the northern point is 1 feet 7 inches. Yes. South point is 5 feet 7 inches. Yes. Length it is 29.7 inches. Yes. Encroachment is 106.23 square yes. feet. Yes. Sir. Now what happened after this report? Nothing done. Kindly looks to 132 now. 132. 1? 132. The corporation, Millard, has given a reply. Hmm. That there is no building plan ever sanctioned against, Millard, the plot number. Right. And the plot number is at the top at B63. No building plan sanction. No building plan sanction. And this is on public land. This is not on my land. All right. Now, now kindly have a look at plot. I just need to show you actually one more document. Looks to 124. Yes. The division bench of this honorable court plot was pleased to plot, uh, pass this order of appointing a survey commission. Hmm. And the report which your lordship saw at 117 is based on this. After that, no action. No. Uh, what are the supplementary affidavits? I have not to show. There are, there are at least three affidavits exchanged. No, no. Maybe, sir, 30 yes. affidavits. What is your stand? Relevance. Well, that Persuan, Persuan initially, initially, the red petition was filed claiming a strip of land describing as a public road. After the uh, uh, KMC, the municipal corporation filed its affidavit then they change their stand. No, it is a it is a public road. KMC has categorically in their affidavit said that no, that is not a public yeah, uh, uh, public road, KMC road. Initially they claimed that it's a KMC road. It's a millard surplus, a strip of land belong to us. Ah. It is not even even shaped. Somewhere it is. Six, uh, 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 no, that's six feet. A, no, that the chartered, they, what the petitioner is claiming adjacent. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That the chartered engineer also says that the width is not uniform. He, uh, he yes. says 106 square feet has been encroached. There is no encroachment. There, there, there is, is no, no objection to this report. We have we have filed our affidavit, stated that there is no encroachment. We have allotted a plot of land to private respondent, and the other portion which could, could not be allotted. For residential purpose, Millard, we have okay. allotted the uh, Millard have uh, allowed some kiosks to be installed because they cannot be utilized for residential right. purpose. Uh, uh, where is your objection to this report filed by the chartered engineer at page 117 uh, to 119? 
Uh, my Lord, uh, Lord, she will find at page 134 to 134. 134 to 134. Yes, 134 to 139. Why is the petitioner is claiming? Because private message. You read the relevant portion, sir. I have a look at paragraph 4 at 136. Strongly oh. object to the observations made. Yes, so at 136, paragraph passage. 4, 5. Belonging to the KMDA. Private passage belonging to the All right. if, if, if if it is a let us assume yes. it's a private passage. You are a development authority. Should you not pre preserve that private passage encroachment free? There is no encroachment. We have stated in our affidavit. And we have a look at paragraph five. You see paragraph four and five, sir. You don't say that there is no encroachment. You say that there is no grievance for anybody. Uh, what sort of report is this? And puts the blame back on me. Sir, it is a land belonging to KMDA. Yes, yes. You, uh, let, uh, you have not handed over it to the KMC, Municipal Corporation. No. But if it is a land, if it is a common land, you are bound to ensure that it is a common land, preserved as a common land. That's all. Why are you supporting the for private respondent? No, no, no. We, we are not supporting. The entire stretch has not been allotted to the private respondent. So if, if that, that was a small lane, huh? uh, there is a small passage. You maintain the passage. Uh, um, I mean, uh, it, is, it is a surplus, surplus strip of land. You please read para 8 also, eight. page 130, sir. You are trying to do hide and seek. Sir. Absolutely, I bow down a lot. Grateful to you. I don't know. Development authority can't take such a stand. You retain the land for the original purpose. You are drawing the sewer lines, you are drawing the electrical cables and 106 square feet, why you want to support that fellow? My lord, may I come back on some other day? No, 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 it can't. We demolish it. No, no, no. You plus, maintain plus, it. Plus, as... plus you gave me, because, because I have so many affidavits have been filed, my lord, no, so nothing. that I, I, I can come back. should not have entertained affidavits. Commissioner was appointed by this court surveyor. That order you did not question. He has given a categoric report in your report or objection, you accept that it is a KMDA land. And in paragraph 8, you have said, this is meant for underground sewerage, electrical connection, already in existence, and likely to be considered belonging to KMDA. You preserved it as a KMDA land. That's all. Don't give it to anybody. My Lord, may I make my submission, my Lord? Please. In this battle, my Lord, I am the worst sufferer. I am the worst victim in this battle, my Lord. This land was allotted by KMDA in the year 2001. 2003, I obtained a sanction plan from the municipal authorities. I constructed my house. And in 2013, this writ petition was filed. Maybe it is a suit, eviction suit in the shape of a writ petition. I'm not on it, my lord. But ultimately, what happens, my lord? They are purporting to evict me from that place. No, I can't. have constructed, my lord, kindly see my, they can't evict. kindly appreciate my Don't plight, my lord. I, this is the low, land of only 380 square feet, a very small portion of land. I'm a very poor person. I have been able to construct only a ground floor portion. Thereafter, a stay order oh, has how, been passed how, by this. From order. whom did you purchase this land? I, I've been allotted from the KMD oh. authorities. All right. What KMD now says in the report is one strip of land. My Lord. They have kept it with themselves. My Lord. I, in that strip, the, they will take the sewer lines. And the uh, commissioner or surveyor who visited the property in your presence says that marginal encroachment here and there. You remove that encroachment yourself. I have not encroached anything. My Lord, I have duly obtained a sanction plan and upon obtaining the sanction plan, I constructed. Sir, sanction plan is one thing. Yes. How you constructed based on sanction plan is another. No, I have, I have understood what has fallen yes. from your Lordship. So therefore, in the joint inspection, it has been found that there is marginal in. Uh, not encroachment, construction being put up in the KMDA land. You remove that alone. That, uh, uh, that seven feet, one feet, yes. three feet. Yes. 
my lord now if it is so then i have to demolish the whole building my lord no. there is a ground floor building only a ground floor constructed by me and that is also in a dilapidated condition because i have not been able to repair also because this stay order is there three order of this honorable court is there so i have not been able to repair for so long lord, i am not even in a position to stay over there may i show some some portion of my affidavits used in this proceeding we are not required sir if you had filed a clear report a two page report with the sketch matter would have been solved something somebody is hiding some information you know the moja very... map is also here, annexed here, you will see you know, at page 34 it's annexed the entire moja map is there <clears throat> the way the encroachment is there you know, it will be quite evident from there have a look at 34 page 34 B sixty three, my lord, is the plot at the bottom. Eight dollar thirty four. Thirty four is it? Yes, my lord. That's the moja map, my lord. It's the bottom. You'll also will see, my lord. Eight. Is it B? Sir, you'll also will find disputed plot is also marked there. Sixty three on the left hand side. left hand side bottom it's marked as disputed plot and then you also will find the main road there hmm this is where the encroachment is and they say miller that they cannot find out it's all there in the mojama if they had miller even compared it plot with the two yes and this is issued by kmd you also will find that plot on hmm. the right hand side if they had even taken the trouble of miller uh, taking miller the comparing it with the two miller the entire thing would have been out in the open only 34 only 34 only 34 on the left hand side the strip of land everything miller is marked there Swaraj line, everything goes, and entire bloody yeah, locality has. We have heard, we have heard the learned advocates of the parties from the uh, plan so prepared by KMDA dated uh, in two thousand five. It uh, it is uh, the strip of land has been shown to be a road. However, the uh, after it filed by the My Lord, my... no, we are adjourning. After it filed by the uh, authority of the KM KMDA, in response to the report submitted by the chartered engineer and valuer who was appointed by the division bench of this court, there appears to be certain discrepancy. Therefore, we direct the an officer who of the KMDA who is well versed. with the uh, facts of the case to be present before this court with the original file and the original map yeah. and they said and the kmd shall place the correct facts before this court to enable the court to arrive at a right decision list the matter next monday grateful to you sir next monday eight may grateful to you serial number 35 the card comes out serial number 35 they are not appearing at no, they are not appearing none appears for the petitioner so on so appears for the respondent dismiss for non prosecution next serial <coughs> number 36 36 ma'am petitioner is not appearing in item number 36 petitioner is appearing in person hmm. so he has not come to the court today so hmm. i am paying for not credit is waiting to be probably some election uh, dispute no 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 this is not the election then this is a in respect of the court dredging okay. land policy etc etc and this the petitioner is, is not matter. appearing since long time several location several matter locations no matter has matter. and even if they have not filed any reply to my opposition anyway let it be adjourned for a week i will inform him that a reply is required to be filed 2013 opposition no no, no no what is this ma So I am not fully aware of this matter. I am just in so last week he he has appeared in in some other matter before lordships. Mr. Shubhas Dutt, why profession is a chartered accountant? No, sir, he has not been appearing at all, all along, madam. But this matter is uh, 
coming into this i think after after a long time no no it, it matter is called not for hearing last occasion they did not appear twice it has come up what is the prayer in the request it march it was appeared not giving 11th january it was not appeared not giving proper attention to save kolkata in january it appeared it suffers from faulty dredging system dumping of silt absence of zones randomness to manage the waterways and rivers protect kolkata port but this was in 2012 what is the present position it is it is the every years affairs here in calcutta every year every year, every year the same thing is happening whatever especially during winter during uh, monsoon but uh, repeated of there is Uh, no such development sir to from 2013 yes the matter has been repeatedly adjourned at the instance of the petitioner thereafter for two three hearings he has not appeared this writ petition was filed as a public interest litigation in the year 2000 so let it be adjourned for, for today wait wait 2013 uh, stating that proper attention should be given by the respondents to the to save the calcutta port come out to manage the waterways at the river at river hogli prepare land use policy for proper utilization and uh, perform the due statutory duties under the major port trust act 1963 from the orders passed in the repetition from time to time we find that all that the all that has happened in these in these years is the matter getting adjourned either at the request of I mean, adjourned at the request of the petitioner or at the request of the respondent and uh, nothing has turned out of this litigation in our view by efflux of time no useful purpose would be served by keeping this writ petition pending accordingly we dispose of this writ petition giving liberty to the petitioner to um, agitate his grievances afresh if um, afresh based on subsequent based on materials which have been gathered subsequently and taking note of the situation which is prevailing as on date that's all not she it will not she on the appearance to give will stop so afternoon also same list will continue original side huh? apoji on the appearance to give
let's write batter your lordship had taken up in the first half your lordship no problem my lord uh, this is a brief yesterday i had taken it's a transferred brief and uh, yesterday i was handed over with the brief and today i filed and the uh, power your lordship in the department but i found that the order has been passed in the matter it was dismissed as non prosecution i don't know how it no no we have not signed the order if yes. no what to do 2012 matter yes it's a pill matter your lordship you uh, uh, list it tomorrow टूरोप Without affirmation, it has been affirmed today. Ah. Let it appear as tomorrow, your lordship. You file it. Your lordship, it has been filed. Much of it. Fresh case means definitely it will come. Much of it. With the leave of Honorable Justice Hiran Mai Bhattacharya, can I be permitted to mention a matter before Honorable Chief Justice? Hmm. Your lordship, this matter pertains to a review petition. Hmm. An order was passed in the review, and then a special leave petition was filed before the Supreme Court, and then the review petition was. held to be maintainable very good and then an order was passed to be assigned before a proper bench now your lordship the you give a letter to the secretary osd your lordship the problem is the order from which i fi uh, uh, filed a review both your lordship are not uh, they have they are no more in the uh, sitting high court judges so a bench no, no, has to be you lordship. give a letter to osd i will constitute a bench no problem without okay. delay it will be done no not much Please call the list. Original side matter, item number one to seven, public interest litigations. I would like kindly take take up the item number seven in which the order was passed on the last occasion. Sorry. All orders, sir. Last order to go. The order of seventeen April. Yes. Yes, Lord Shiva. I appear on behalf of the state respondents. Lord Shiva, in this matter, we have received instructions. Mm. So, as far as the stamp duty and the registration fees is concerned, we have we have obviously okay. need to refund it back. But some time may be given by which time? How much time you would require? Uh, immediately after reopening by that by that time. So, after ideally, but ten yes. fifteen days will it not be Lord sufficient? Shiba, that will be vacation. We might we might no, be required. Vacation. <laughs> Location is for the court, not Lord for the state. You are also kindly give us some motor because some approval also requires four weeks. No, what 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 we'll we'll do is we'll fix the matter on nineteen. On that day, do you please? Uh, we will try, but ideally, would have loved to have immediately after that. Ideally, because we know if you if you think I'll pursue I'll pursue the matter. No, no, if you think you give instructions, yes, within forty eight hours they can do. It. They can definitely do. It. There is no problem at all. Huh? And uh, see, this will help. Yes. In uh, uh, your department officials taking the file to the superior officers, so it's a time-bound matter. They will put it on top. Direction issued by High Court, time-bound matter. Then all secretaries will immediately sign. That is the way we also communicate. But mm. <laughs> so uh, what we can do is nineteenth. Uh, 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 Anjan, we will have nineteenth Thursday. Say no. We list on nineteenth. So yes, that on nineteenth, let them let come with ready instruction about the payment of. Other charges too. Now they are saying that we will pay the registration fee and other. First, let, first let it come, sir. You see the color of the coin, then uh, <laughs> we will go stage by stage. No, if getting they... this out of them is so very difficult. Yes, that's true. We have been fighting for so long. We have done it. Okay. Sir, that's a detailed charge. Sir, please disco. take down. Reference may be made to the order dated 17th February. 17th April, sir. Yeah, no. 2023. The learned advocate appearing for the respondent states uh, submitted that process has already commenced for refunding the stamp duty and registration fee and other necessary fee paid by the applicant. And in this regard, written instructions have been received from the um, finance department. Finance department, government of West Bengal. Uh, we hope and trust that uh, necessary approvals at 
at the, at the different levels is granted and the refund be affected and the same be reported before this court on the next hearing date. List the matter um, um, on 19th. And if the, the lease approval mallet relates to the refund of the stamp duty and the registration fee. Uh, regarding mallet, other aspects mallet, we need to get the approval. Uh, that that, that we will First, we cross 50%, then yes. <laughs> now that one correction is required, we are appearing for the special officer, not for any other dispute. All right. Uh, uh, in the, in the, in the order date, please Good. note down. Just in the order chat. dated 17th yeah. April 23, it has been mentioned that. Mr. Vikas Ranjan Bhattacharji is appearing with, for... With Dimitro. Uh, Dimitro. 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 No, it is shown as a special officer. No, no. no, no. It's it's not responder number two in the cause list. Cause list? In the order sheet is there. Okay, okay order sheet actually. Then you know, don't. Uh, um, the, in the cause list, um, it, uh, it has been mentioned that Mr. Dimitro is appearing for the resp respondent number two. Whereas he is appearing for the special officer, this uh, may be corrected in the yes. cost list when it is published on the next hearing date. But may I have a lordship's leave, mm. in in this uh, in these matters, Malad, there is an application GA thirty two mm. or twenty twenty. Malad, I am appearing for the applicant, but there was an order passed by this honourable uh, bench, Malad, for uh, payment of interest, Malad, mm. in this matter. Uh, we have already received an amount of rupees sixty five lakhs, Malad. The GA 32. Yes, ma'am. In which uh, Same uh, item number three? Yes, ma'am. Yes. My lord. And let them revert back next hearing. Yes, you know, all the matters to appear on the next Malad, hearing, Miller. Miller, it is, uh, uh, Miller, only, uh, the humble prayer is, Miller, uh, the special officer, uh, I mean, uh, what funds he is having, Miller, is to be disclosed before this honorable court. <clears throat> that will, uh, you, you get ready yes, with, with the prayer. Huh? And just I'll bring a statement. What is the fund in my hand, Miller, on the next date of hearing? Please. Actually, I'm having three lakhs of rupees, but I'll get it written and stamped by the special officer's officer and bring before your lawyer on the next day. Great, Lord. Next. Item number eight. <laughs> But I beg to for the response number four and five only. Declaration that the Pradhan cannot be an appellate authority under 2005 Act. Thus, notification dated 2110 requires to be modified, altered in terms of the guidelines of Supreme Court. Declaration to the effect that all SPIOs, SAPIOs, letter must mention their names and designation. If they don't dispose of your appeal, you can automatically avail the next remedy. It's a self-working order. If you see that, if the public information officer does not uh, furnish the information within the time frame. 30 days. 30 days. Automatically, you can file an appeal. Yes. That is a provision. Suppose the appellate authority does not do it, then you have got a remedy. You challenge the order. Before the second appellate authority. No, the issue is this. Lord. The poncha, first point is the Panchayat Pradhan is a political person. Mm. He cannot be a officer. And to that effect, we made a representation that kindly come to page number 14 of my read petition. One four. One four. Made a representation to, to, the, uh, to the respondent authority. Ah. Who has issued the main, main order kindly see page number 12. That is the notification. Page number 12 is the. Should have a degree in law, should have adequate knowledge and experience. Reveal that Panchayat Pradhan enters or discharge as a first of letter. He is a matriculation. More so become Pradhan, no minimum qualification. Contrary to the law as decided by the Honorable Supreme Court. Well, I, may I hand over the judgment of the Supreme Court? And who is this man who is now the appellate authority? He is challenging in general. He's in general. 
by te by taking but instance by taking been... instance one in particular cases i have challenged that uh, kindly oh, no, please point out from uh, page number page 13 12 12 page number 13 kindly just see the order page number 13 ah 13 yes that is a gram panchayat corresponding serial number 11 appellate authority pradhan of gram panchayat that is under challenge pradhan of a gram panchayat is in... can't be yes because he is a political person he cannot be he is not the officer before moving this read petition, we have made a representation of authority. They did and what is your case. response on that, sir? No, my, I am appearing on behalf of the 4 and 5, the second appellate authority. Sorry, but sorry. the notification issued by the state. A state, what is your... Sir, but, uh, is concerned, sir. <laughs> but, uh, the power of the Pradhan, that is uh, encapsulated in uh, 34.1. Mm. And the power of the executive assistant is encapsulated in... 45 section 45 5 of the panchayat act mm. now the executive assistant is to carry out malad the decisions of the pradhan and the other members of the gram panchayat mm. and malad the uh, power of the and the power of the executive assistant is also uh, additionally to sign the checks along with the pradhan and in the absence of the pradhan of the uh, uh, upa pradhan mm. Now, my lord, uh, the executive, the act says that the appellate authority is to be someone higher in rank. Mm. The what I've understood from the my lord, the petition of the writ petitioner is that uh, the pradhan is not the higher in rank mm. uh, of the uh, executive assistant. But my lord, if your lordship, my lord, it was panchayat act. Panchayat act. Panchayat act. My lord, the executive assistant. Relevant paragraph 108 of 7, the Honorable Supreme Court decisions. 108.7, page number 804. But uh, this uh, Pradhan should be under the control of some authority Political. of the state yes, government. Yes. The, uh, must be assistant director of panchayats or deputy director of panchayats. What is the post here? No, Pradhan is Malad, the elected member of the Gram Panchayat. So he can't be is what is his submission. Yes, Malad, I, 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 I understood that. Malad, if your logic kindly takes... Suppose you don't have an elected body. Malad. And uh, there is a executive officer or appointed for the Panchayat. Then he can be exercise the powers. He will be a qualified person. According to him... Uh, yeah, yeah. He doesn't possess the qualification as stipulated by the... I, I have enclosed me the page number. Sir, uh, Supreme Court uh, judgment. Kindly page number 2020. The qualification is mention of the Panchayat for the... Page number? 20 of my petition. Is the matriculation. No, in this judgment you wanted to show us. In this judgment, we 108. That is the last page. 108.7. The Supreme Court very categorically stated. It is well will be just fair and proper that the first appellate authority, the senior officers to be nominated nominated in terms of section 5 of the act, preferably should be a person possessing a degree in law or having adequate knowledge and experience in the field of law. There is a very specific uh, di direction, Milord. Mm -hmm. And here, here is the Podhan is with the matriculation. Class 10, even no, without having any qualification, Milord, anybody can be a Podhan because there is no bar under the Panchayat Act to become a Podhan. So what will happen is, once again, whatever is the executive assistant writes, he will sign. As a appellate authority, he will follow whatever the Blood PIO says. Blood under the uh, Panchayat Act, Blood executive assistant is appointed by the Gram Panchayat. You, this... na you name a government authority uh, who has got control over Panchayats. Let us say there will be a director of Panchayats or municipal administration. And below him, there will be a hierarchy of officers. From uh, from what I know under the Tamil Nadu Act, there is a director of panchayats. Yes. Below him, there are additional directors. L let us say the, the state has got 36 districts. There will be 10 additional directors. Below them, there will be um, joint directors who will be given three districts. And each district will have one AD, that is assistant director panchayat. And he can at any time inspect the accounts, etc. And everything, all tenders invited, everything has to be placed before him ultimately. Even you have this Gram Sabha, whatever the minutes are recorded, it will be. So the assistant director of Panchayat will be entitled to move a no, no confidence motion. If suppose a no, no confidence motion is signed, 
it is he who has to move the motion and places there are a lot of rules in there so therefore you name a government authority as an appellate authority malad uh, if i may suggest this subject to uh, your approval by your lordship malad uh, may we reconsider this serial number uh, 11, 11 which he is aggrieved yes. by of 21st october 2010 in the light of this judgment okay. that he is citing and come back to your lordship malad with our uh, suggestion malad or we can direct you to take a decision on that in line in tune with uh, uh, maybe come back maybe come see, back. that would be better but we'll come back within a fortnight in malad, there and give our suggestion malad and if you want to malad withdraw it malad i'll let you lordship malad uh, we have heard so much the the first issue which has been focused in the writ petition is with regard to who is fit and proper to be appointed as an appellate authority under the provisions of section 5 of the right to information act 2005 in respect of gram panchayats the notification issued by the state government dated 21st 10 2010 21 10 2010 states that the pradhan of the gram panchayat will be the appellate authority the learned advocate appearing for the appellant sorry appearing for the writ petitioner placed reliance on the decision of the honorable supreme court in the case of namit sharma versus union of india 2013 1acc 745 and and referred to paragraph 1.0 uh, i mean sorry 108.7 of the sit judgment which reads as follows it is there in page 804 so 108.7 on this page in terms of the above decision of the honorable supreme court uh, it has been pointed out that it will be just come a fair and proper that the first appellate authority preferably should be the the persons possessing a degree in law or having adequate knowledge and experience in the field of law it is pointed out that the pradhan of a gram panchayat does not require any qualification to be elected to the said post apart from that uh, no you you said he is a matriculate matriculation in the in my case matriculation in which pradhan yes we let kindly page number 20 bikantapur gram panchayat 2 you know the particular pradhan is not before your lordship ah uh, he is not i i, I have in, in general i have made this repetition uh, but there, in there, a, one instance i have just page, cited page page 20 20 20 of the repetition Two zero. Two zero is not there. Eighteen is there. Nineteen A is there. Eighteen A. Uh, type copy. Type copy. Me lot. Oh, two zero. Madhyamik examination matricula. Ah. What What is this format? Ah. By way of illustration, the learned advocate for the petitioner referred to the declaration form, which a candidate has to file before the re- returning officer. to contest in a panchayat election and it is stated that the and in, in the form the ed- educational qualification prescribed is matriculation slash 10th pass therefore it is submitted that the notification issued by the government of west bengal dated 21st of october 2010 requires to be amended in so far as nomination of the appellate authority for gram panchayats under section 5 of the rta act 2005 the learned advocate appearing for the respondent state request time to get instruction in this regard and uh, in this regard list the matter on so and so date when do you want it sir a lot of fortnight mr 15th may list on 15th may hello In instead of Millard fifteenth, it can be seventeen Millard. Seventeen PIL nine. Six seventeen seven fifth sixteenth. 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 All right. Sixteenth May. Some new dear body. Now one judgment. I don't know my nine. 
new application tax matters yes in this matter i am appearing for the respondent hmm. as a similar your law firm recollect this is the order i have filed an application in terms of the order nclt passed in this matter hmm. and your law firm last time passed this order ये और तथा ए अंजुन फाइल्ड जीए 3 ऑफ 20 ब्रिगिंग सर्टेन फैक्ट्स एंड रिकॉर्ड दे हैव नॉट फाइल्ड एनी ओपोजिशन रिगार्डिंग दैट डायरेक्शन बट दिस चाइ हैपेंस वाला द डिपार्टमेंट हैज गिवन अस डायरेक्शन दैट ड्यूरिंग पेंडेंसी ऑफ द अपील एंड मैटर वाज फाइल्ड बिफोर द एनसीएल वेयर माला द रेजोल्यूशन प्रोफेशनल वाज अपॉइंटेड एंड द एंटायर अमाउंट ऑफ 24 क्रोर्स वाज पेड टू द बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा वाला नथिंग वाज पेड टू द इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट ऑल्सो वी फाइल्ड आवर क्लेम Well, regarding this matter, you want to file an affidavit. Well, let them file an affidavit stating the, all these facts, my lord. We have heard so and so at the request of the learned advocate for the hey. revenue. Okay. List the matter in June for filing affidavit in opposition. But second week of June, my lord. Second week of June. Table level. Item number ten. Where is so many? How many days? No delay. Eight hundred. Respondent served. After what of service file? Yes, yes. Not every time service. I have to print the service. Sir, the item deliver on twelve four twenty twenty three. There is a direction by the minister. No, this is. Uh... A Supreme Court decision is there, one fifty three A. Yes, yes. So we passed the order the other day. My lord, uh, Anjan, you got copy of the order, same order. So what we can do? So please take note. There is a delay of eight hundred and three days in filing this appeal. Uh, though the re respondent had been served and affidavit of service has been filed, none appears for the respondent. Though the reasons set out. In the affidavit filed in support of the contempt relief petition, are not very convincing. Not convincing. Directed to file supplementary affidavit with regard to the conditional delay application. Not uh, very convincing. However, on perusal of the supplementary affidavit, we find that certain reasons have been assigned for not able to prefer the appeal within the time permitted. That apart, um, I, uh, the substantial questions of law which have been raised by the revenue. Was considered by the Honorable Supreme Court in a recent decision in Principal Commission of Income Tax Central Two Central Three versus Abisha A B H I S A R Build Well Private Limited 2023 149 Taxman dot com 399 within bracket S C the operative portion of the judgment. Is as follows. I think we have done this earlier. Okay. Okay. That the order copy is available. Ah, uh, uh, so on. So, thus uh, the appeal stands disposed of in terms of the. Orders passed by the Honorable Supreme Court in the aforementioned decision, and the questions of law are answered. Accord. But I am led by Mr. Om Narayan. Om Narayan Rai, Mr. Soman Bhattacharya. Thank you. Adip, great friend. Item number eleven, recalling application. Your Lordship, may I please your Lordship? The last time your Lordship there was a direction for affidavits. Yes, my Lord. Today, my Lord, I am filing it. I hmm. couldn't do it in between because my mother was hospitalized. Ah, uh, how is she now? Uh, she has been released, my lord, but she is having some like, chest infection. That is, the this weather is a problem. Yes. So, my lord, I am taking out my lord this opposition, my lord, and serving the copy to my lord and with regard to my lord this recalling application. Okay. Item number twelve. Reply to this, Your Lordship, because we are supposed to fly, file a reply within a week's time. We'll file it. What is the Your Lordship the question of law? This uh, Your Lordship. This is my Lord. Wherein my Lord, my learned friend, my Lord, have sought to recall an order, my Lord, by which Your Lordship had condoned the delay. 
they have to no no correct but we followed swati bajaj it's yeah, not... your lordship the, there is this minor difference your lordship that we just want to argue that point your lordship if it is condoned your lordship it goes no, back no, to what that we'll do is we will uh, recall the order here huh? here hear you and then say delay is condoned then we'll maintain the same date yeah your lordship the delay if, if the delay is condoned your lordship it goes back to a date which is prior to the circular and that circular which exempts L- ltcg matters it is prior to that how what is the tax involved uh, it's uh, 8 lakhs your lordship it is not 11 lakh 11,860 so not i maybe my lord like contending before lord said that this is my lord situation is slightly different because my lord this is this is an application that has been taken out after my lord the okay. was we'll do one thing we will recall the order restore the condone delay my lord let him file his opposition to the condone delay application yes we'll hear the application of the only difficult is if I, if i may not could put it like this this is like malat the, the matter has ultimately adjudicated now malat he is only attacking an order which is subsequent the, the attack malat mass so with the final say, order he should also seek for recalling the main order should have been I that, have, that have was have not done when i have taken i have taken a specific point on that matter okay. i generally do not I, oppose I, to I, that extent malat if he is a select mitra so and so at the request of the learned advocate for the uh, assc yeah. let the matter stand uh, be heard on so and so date right. by then affidavit in opposition okay. affidavit reply. reply 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 if any be filed after ser- serving advance copy and the learned advocate for the revenue list on so and so date i am extremely grateful man next item number 12 review applications Your Lordship, this is my review application. There's a delay of two eighty-three days in filing of oh. this. What is the review you want? Uh, Your Lordship, uh, Swati Bajaj, Your Lordship. The, in the condonation of delay, they had suppressed the fact that a refund had been issued to me. Your Lordship has uh, passed the similar orders in other there, cases as well. There is the similar order. I, I'll, I'll submit Your Lordship. <laughs> That time, yes, the whole order, the order, order. You are recalling the order. Who has appeared? No copy has been served. Which order are you talking about? The application of file. Yes, file. This is Swati Bajaj. Swati Bajaj. So same as a C. Your lordship. No, related. Different as a C. Uh, in the batch of cases, we were one of the as a C. Your lordship. In page number thirty-six, your lordship of my uh, GA two application. That is the stay uh, application. the uh, department's intimation has been uh, i have uh, page number 36 your lordship the income tax computation form has been this was after the filing of the tribunal uh, uh, after the appeal was uh, answered in my favor page 36 is computation form yes your lordship uh, this is after the filing they had given me the tax effect in page number 38 is the refund they had issued i have annex the bank account also your lordship okay at the bottom your lordship 26 eight 2020 uh, 2019 that is rtgs yes your lordship 53 lakh 75 thousand that is before that your lordship before that uh, 52 lakh 69 thousand yes your lordship Very this good. is including interest your lordship my tax amount was 43 lakhs tax effect that is ecsr yes your lordship so even before they filed it uh, they had affected refund yes your lordship yes no what is the date of filing the appeal i'll tell you your lordship the date of filing of appeal is 24th september 2021 your lordship 24th september 2021 i was communicated on 1st october 2021 But only one thing, Mila. I don't know, Mila. The copy of the review application over the server or not, Mila. Because I have, Mila, Mila. I do not know, Mila. But I have one ex there stay application as well, Your Lordship. Their condonation. Mila, I have, Mila. Appear, Mila. I have to check, Mila, because the review application they were served. Your Lordship, only on that ground, Your Lordship has already Mila, given relief to. You give him a copy. I'll, I'll I'll serve him. Uh, it has been served, Your Lordship. I'll serve him again. This review, please take note. This review application has been filed to review the order, uh, judgment and order. 
in ITAT number 138 of 2021, dated 14 6, 2022. The main ground on which review was filed is to is by contending that much before the filing of the appeal by the revenue before this court, which was filed on 24 9 2021, refund has been effected to the but a refund Millard in respect of that assessment year also not Millard, Millard because notice of motion has been given Millard, the department also not, not will serve the copy. Oh, you would like to take instruction? Millard, yes, Millard, because uh, a refund has been effected as early as on 26 8 2019. Um, the let a copy of the review petition be served on the learned standing council for the respondent who shall take instruction in the matter. List the matter on 8th. Yes, Lordship, I have a circuit bench matters here. Lordship, can you place it next week? Lordship, thank you. Grateful, Lordship. Copy, copy, copy. Item number 13 for admission. My Lord, I am for the appellant in this matter, my Lord. I am praying for your Lordship's leave to withdraw this appeal. The learned advocate appearing for the appellant uh, seeks permission to withdraw this appeal. Appeal stands with, dismissed as withdrawn. I am grateful, my Lord. Grateful. Item 14. I appear, my Lord, for the appellant. Mm. <laughs> my Lord, on the last occasion when the matter had appeared, my learned friend, my lord, it had appeared after a long time. So, my lord, it taken time. This relates to, my lord, interpretation of Article 23A, my lord, of the Stamp Act as amended for the state of West Bengal. My lord, the question, my lord, really involved is, my lord, where, my lord, there is a scheme of amalgamation or demerger, my lord, this particular article, my lord, applies. Question is, my lord, whether the proviso my lord, in my lord, the charging portion, my lord, of the article, mm. can it, my lord, nullify, my lord, the, my lord, <coughs> substantive provision of that article? The rate of duty, my lord, has been prescribed. Proviso says that, my lord, if one and two situation is, my lord, there, then, my lord, whichever is higher. So, my lord, both situations have to be present for the proviso to apply. My lord, I had shown that to your lordships on the last occasion. My Lord, it's for admission, my Lord. Your Lordships can, my Lord, hear out the appeal, my Lord. It's an interpretation, my Lord, of my Lord. Now, uh, uh, what, what happened to the uh, writ petitioner? Whether he has got the benefit of the... What, what is yes, that? my Lord, what has happened? Uh. My Lord, the learned judge, my Lord, held, though there is no immovable property involved, and our contention was if there is no immovable property involved, proviso doesn't apply. The substantive provision has to be looked at for determining the rate. The Lanet judge says, no, it will only be half percent of the shares. So, my lord, we have a hundred crore transaction and my lord, only half percent, my lord, being paid. My lord, this is, my lord, the situation. Now, the document has been presented. Yes, yes, my lord, my lord, that is, my lord, uh, we haven't yet registered, my lord, but we'll, my lord, the order is there, my lord, we'll, my lord, have to, my lord, uh, let it go through. But your lordships, uh, there is another matter now also, my lord, pending before my lord, the learned single judge, which is being heard on this issue. Um, naturally, my lord, this, this order will also be, my lord, uh, considered there. No, it says, registering authority will allow the petitioner to present the document accompanied by stamp duty, payable at the rate of half percent on 294 yeah. 25 in the event such instrument is accompanied by a stamp duty, the registering authority shall register the same in accordance. Well, that has to be complied with. There's no. Oh, if you comply with this, <laughs> probably you comply with subject to outcome of APOT 140. Correct. Correct. So that at least they get the document and they can proceed for that. Yes, my lord. I... Uh, that issue. No, no, my lord. I, I won't stand in the way, but my lord. You, you can indicate like in pending document. Correct, correct. We'll, your so lordship provides for that. Uh, directs yes, my lord. Subject to my lord. Ah. Your lordship can provide can for that. Verify that uh, registration also. Yes, my lord. With that can, uh, word. Yes, hmm? we can do that. The appeal is admitted for hearing. The appellant department, uh, appellants are directed to comply with the direction issued by the learned single bench in the penultimate portion of the order by registering the document 
if it is accompanied by the stamp duty as mentioned in the said order. The appellant shall, uh, the concerned authority of the appellant shall indicate that the registration of document is subject to the outcome of APOT number 140 of 2021. This direction be complied with. You'll have to present it. Yes. Uh, complied with within uh, two weeks from the date on which the respondent presents the documents with the required uh, stamp duty and registration charges. Uh, uh, appeal is admitted. Paper book you want to file? My Lord, everything is just one question of law, my Lord. Oh, point of law only. It's totally, my Lord, an interpretation so issue, my Lord. Since, uh, since all material papers are available in the stay application, the stay application be retained and filing of uh, informal paper book stands dispensed with. List the matter in sometime in July. Yes, July. Item number 15. I appear on behalf of the respondent to that. Mm. that this is not the award industrial passed by the industrial tribunal mm. that on my read petition the adverse side. That 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 distinctly that analyze the facts and that set aside the award. That, that I'm sorry, that 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 I'm sorry, my lord. There are other matters which are pending, my lord. My lord, will your lordships, my lord, make it clear that this order, my lord, will Otherwise, everything will Malod, follow. Malod, this Malod, uh, we will drag the other matters here. Malod, one Malod hearing is almost completed. Malod. That's why I was saying. Malod. Two analogous rate petitions are being taken. Two analogous rate petitions. This observation you can also point out in case the... Malod, I'll tell you lot of what happened. Malod, in the other matter, in one of them, my lord, the other side said they will not rely on Dalkri. They wanted.
that is page number 46 of the supplementary affidavit i have filed me not supplementary affidavit to the may i just interrupt once hmm. my learned friend has not filed any stay application he has only filed a section 5 hmm. uh, section 5 your lordship condones will let the appeal be heard out whenever it is but in any case answering to your uh, my lord's question if my lord kindly comes to page 80 once lot of sees the see page for one second page 47 first paragraph it records your submission page 47 internal page 2 first paragraph it notes your submission he seeks compensation for suffering such loss from state court did not decide that issue yes that is since the state is making more photocopies of the document seized today certifies them to be exact photocopies the documents it will open to the petitioner to produce before appropriate authority in accordance compensation is different things yes, kindly next paragraph it is a petitioner in law is now in a position to lead secondary evidence in support of his claim before the adjudicating authority the claim for compensation need not be assessed at this stage that is the that is my point because that point was kept open if ultimately i fail to the adjudicating authority that point is open to me now in your civil proceedings even up to the review application stage, everything is dismissed. Yes, because when we have intended to tender these documents after getting this in 2018, the my uh, review application was also dismissed. Why? Because that is a delay. Because main suit was dismissed in 2014. And no, as against which you didn't file a review. Then, sorry, revision. Challenging that review order, I have challenged the review, file the review, revision application. That ah. is also dismissed because that is no illegality in the order of the past by the London trial court. That means I now I am become the remediless. I have no forum at, at this stage due to the act of the arbitrariness act of the state. That is my case. Because if that particular document was produced by the All state, right. you don't want to file uh, any no, that, that supplementary affidavit can be it? taken as a informal so paper. So, so there is a delay of uh, 101 <laughs> days in filing the appeal. We are satisfied with the reasons given in the affidavit filed in support of the petition, and accordingly, the delays application is allowed. Delay is controlled. Let the appeal be listed for admission yeah. after vacation. Next. Appeal is admitted to the no, admission hearing next. Let it come for admission. Let it be registered and let the order be implemented. Next. Item number 18. This is my application. Your Lordship, there is a delay of 166 days, my Lord. Respondent, on sir. The la yes, sir. He's and appearing on the, the response. The delay has been condoned on the last occasion. Oh, is it so? 10th of April, my lord. My lord, I have just taken a set of papers from my learned friend. Okay. My lord, may kindly grant me some time. Delay already cut. 10th of April, it was gone my lord. Question of lord, page 4, my lord. Unexplained cash credit. Let us see the tribunal order. Yes, my lord. It starts from page 30 onwards. Page 34, your lordship kindly comes to page 34. Actually, there was a mistake committed by the SSC. This is for the assessment year 1617 and for the previous year. And for the subsequent year, they have taken this point that they have clubbed their assets and liabilities of the personal file along with the proprietorship concern, my lord. Now, that mistake was not rectified. And it, that was subsequently... Tribunal says it is an inadvertent mistake on the part of the employee. He cons inadvertently consolidated the assets and liabilities of the personal file of the SSC, the assets of the proprietary concern. And that but is why the CIT has also asked for a remand report from the assessing office and the remand report is at page 22, my lord. And the extract of the remand report is also there in the tribunal. It has been reprodu reproduced in the tribunal's order also, my lord. Correct order, Smita. This appeal by the revenue filed under section 260 <laughs> capital of the Income Tax Act 1961 within bracket the act is directed against the order dated 30th march 2022 in i uh, uh, on the file of the income tax appellate tribunal a bench kolkata in ita number 2537 kol 2019 for the assessment year 2016-17 the revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law for consideration page 4 para 9 1 and 2 two questions third smita das the kejriwal so on, so the, uh, on perusal of the order passed by the learned tribunal, we find that uh, the tribunal considered the correctness of the order passed by the Commission of Income Tax Appeals 
who had on perusal of the grounds raised before him had called for a remand report from the assigning officer thereafter analyzed the remand report and found that the the alleged unexplained cash credit was due to an inadvertent mistake committed by an employee of the ssc who had inadvertently consolidated the assets and liabilities of the personal file of the ssc with the assets assets and liabilities of the proprietorship concern after taking note of the factual position comma the tribunal affirmed the finding rendered by the cita thus we find no substantial question of law arises for consideration in this appeal hence the appeal is dismissed thank you next item number 19 application adjourn don't i am for the respondent yes so in this matter earlier i had served on my learned friend copy of the paper books which were filed before the tribunal may i give copy of the same to your lordship my lord your lordship wanted to keep keep it the issue before your lordship 10 minutes you can complete 7 minutes you can complete 3:30 is the ultimate no oh, lordship has got another bitch 7 minutes is we are also working hard sir <sighs> here and there we are working lord there is a cross appeal hmm. of the ssc uh copy sir yes yes yes, yes. against which you also filed your affidavit oh very good that is item 20 All right. Cross yeah. appeal. Since uh, uh, learned advocates on either side submit that the matter will take uh, some time, and today, for want of uh, today, the uh, matter cannot. Well, be taken. Harder and adjourned. All right. Harder and adjourned. <laughs> <laughs> We have heard Mr. Samrajit Rajchowdhury, Soman Bhattacharya, Mr. Muraka, so on so. Uh, at the request of the learned counsel for the ASC. You give one date, Sanjay. Adjourn to. The Lord Chief has been preached to adjourn it to. I, we don't know only. Thank you, man. Activity. No, it's a vacation move. Item number twenty-one. I am with the respondent, SSC, my lord. may please honor sir man mm. uh, this is a recalling application and man i have taken out an uh, affidavit in opposition saying as that upon liberty granted by your lordship mm. i couldn't serve it to my learned friend in between i today i have served it that's mm. now i was my lord all right uh heard mr so on sir after um, affidavit in opposition has been filed by the revenue to the recalling application copy of which has been served on the learned advocate for the ssc who seeks time to get instruction in the matter list on so on so day i am extremely grateful man grateful grateful item number 22 inter court appeals 148 i wrote it's a 148 matter but your lordship by lord uh, one accommodation i see hmm. two weeks time for appeal with my lord. opposition was opposition. even has not been done It should the the appeal was admitted, my lord. There was a direction for affidavits. Uh, if they all right, my lord keeps it up after vacation. one week after vacation. After the um, um, learned um, heard so and so at the request of the learned counsel for the revenue list the matter. You give a date in June. But uh, my two weeks after because I'm, and, and even the direction for extension of filing of the affidavit for both my lord. Yes, sir. A extension of time also you write. Hmm? Uh, we grateful you write. Nineteenth, nineteenth, my lord. Item number twenty three. Well, item number twenty three, my lord. I beg to appear on behalf of the CAC respondent. Hmm. My instruction is, my lord, the copy of the appeal has not yet been served. Let a direction be given, my lord, to the learned friend to serve a copy. You, you remember the facts of the case? What is the facts?
Some civil dispute is pending. My behalf of the all Kishu Das for the appeal and manner is suffering for the year problem. So I'm praying for a week adjournment according to. But do you have to serve copies? Yes, kind of direct. Next Monday. The learned advocate appearing for the appellant shall serve all the uh, one set of papers on the learned advocate appearing for the respondent. List the master under the same caption next Monday. I'm grateful. To call two matters. Item number 24. My Lord, I am appearing for the petitioner, my Lord. Mm. I have uh, served copies, my Lord. But nobody is appearing. Who will appear for the revenue? Should I place on record affidavit of service? Somebody will appear. Amit will appear. Read me the list of I. Respondent. Mr. Rai had appeared. Who had appeared? Mr. Om Narayan Narai before the single judge. What is this 148? 148, my lord, uh, assessment year 1516. Now, learned single judge is also granting his stay, my lord. At that time, he was not granting. So, he admitted the uh, read petition, but his stay was not granted. And whether affidavit has been called for? Affidavit has been called. Affidavit filed? No. We you don't proceed with the reassessment. There is delay also. That is. Don't proceed to the reassessment, otherwise, writ will become infructuous. This intra court appeal by the writ petitioner is directed against the order dated 7 September 2022 in WPO 2505 of 2022. By the said order, the learned uh, uh, writ court, while entertaining the writ petition on the ground that, that uh, the interpretation of the relevant provisions of section 149 of the Income Tax Act 1961 is required to be gone into and a directed affidavit in opposition to be filed by the revenue. However, interim order has not been granted. In our view, if reassessment proceedings are commenced and concluded, the challenge made in the writ petition to the order passed under Section 148, capital A, within bracket small d of the Act dated 19th 4th. April 2021 will become infructuous. To be, to be noted that the appellant has no other forum to question the correctness of the order passed under section 148 capital A within brackets small d of the act. Therefore, uh, the reassessment proceeding should necessarily await the decision in the red petition. For such reason, there will be an order directing that all further proceedings pursuant to the order passed under Section 148, capital A, within bracket small d of the Act, dated 19 2021 including the notice issued under Section 148 and 142, within bracket 1, shall remain stay till the disposal of the writ petition. It is, it is seen from the impugned order that the matter was directed to be included in the monthly list of January 2023 with a direction to the revenue to file their affidavit in opposition. Till, full stop. Till date, the affidavit has not been filed. We direct the revenue to file their affidavit in opposition within four weeks from date and reply, if any, within two weeks thereafter. Let the matter appear in the list of the uh, appropriate learned single bench on 12th of June, 2023. Now, in the first paragraph, there is a delay of 194 days in filing this appeal. Uh, we have heard so and so. We have perused the affidavit, uh, same order. Milod, yeah. Milod, assessment year may also be mentioned because second one is for assessment year 16 17. Two writ petitions. Two huh? writ petitions. So yeah. this is for? This is for 15 16. 15 16. And same date, 148 AD order, AB order? Uh, AB. AD. Uh, dates uh, are different, Milod. Then dated for uh, 19th April 2021. Right. This for is the, for the assessment year. This one is a which assessment year? 1516. 1516. The order is dated 27 7 22. 27 7 22. And page 19. For 1617. My lord. 
you make it separate order itself. Right. Om Narayan. Come across one judgment of Honorable Supreme Court, ah. wherein the Honorable Supreme Court has held that any writ petition while challenging the 147 proceedings is premature. No. I have come to smile. Today, even I, in fact, today I have. Uh, uh, whether it's a recent judgment or an old. It's in 2022. No, no. See, 147, 148 proceedings, what, is, what has happened is. The provision has changed, but the law has not changed. That is why uh, then you know, I had so, opportunity, my lord. I will place that. You place it. Otherwise, Calcutta discount, GK and Drive everything you have to put it. Uh, and my lord, Calcutta, Calcutta my discount lord, is constitution yeah. bench, five judges bench. Punjab and Haryana High Court. No, Ms. Amit uh, Sharma. Yes, he does not have any other remedy. It's a very serious weapon reopening. Yeah, if you pass a speaking order, they can file a writ petition earlier. Now, this provision has made me more transparent in the sense the assessee will have an opportunity. Therefore, you give a AB notice, then a hearing, material, etc., and he passes an order. Consequences 148, he'll start proceeding. So, the correctness of the order needs to be tested. He cannot raise this point before the reopening proceeding. He can only uh, canvass the merits of the assessment, not the Act of reopening that can never be questioned once he misses this bus. So, therefore, we will have to see. In fact, uh, Punjab and Haryana High Court judgment was challenged before the Honorable Supreme Court, yeah. challenging the initiation of proceedings uh, for 13, 14, or 15, 14, 15. Hmm. That uh, SLP was also dismissed. No, but, uh, but, uh, my lord, there was a direction there has been in that case. Change in opinion there was direction in the uh, court that I will place, my, my lord. If lord I, no, no, you do one thing. You share the judgment with Definitely, Mr. definitely. My. And He's, other councils also. Yes, I want to assist the court. That's why my, my lord, I'm something. And my lord, uh, next year is 16, 17, my lord. Uh, you wait for some time. You tell our uh, AR, you write down WP number, okay. date of 148 AD, AD order, assessment. Deeply online. <laughs>